don't know. Oh no, we're, we're okay now. Okay, good. Welcome. Make it. <laughs> full force, too. Full force. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm at half force, but I'm here. Half well, force. Well, Lewis Hamilton must be on some kind of a force. <laughs> <to pull this. laughs> He's got some skeletons to deal with, oh, apparently. Man, I guess so. In his recording oh, closet. Look at this. <laughs> uh, uh, he must so be a pretty expensive uh, recording closet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. This uh, he's written a, so- a love song for his ex girlfriend. Oh, good for him. It's he's called, he's moving on. It's called is, is, that, that, is that what that means? Je adore. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, it's called <laughs> Je adore? Oh, come on. <laughs> Why in French? He has Why things he hasn't dealt with. Yeah, yeah. yeah he he built her a studio in his house. Okay. So she could record songs at home. This is in somewhere in the body of this article. So she could record songs at home, and then they broke up. And he thought, well, now I have a multi-million dollar studio in my house. Might as well become a hip-hop superstar as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. With Drake. <laughs> World champion confidence. What you say with Drake? Yeah, well, he's... Yeah, he, are, they, are they buds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're bros. Yeah. They're recording some songs together, maybe? Oh, that's fantastic. They're hanging out in the studio. Oh, yeah, man. I this remember the first thing. time I heard him speak. Mixing tracks. I, I, I didn't know he was like... British? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know he was British. <laughs> and it just seemed so... The, I just didn't expect it. I think, I don't think there's, oh, yeah, there's, there's no drivers in Formula One that don't have some sort of European accent, I don't think, anymore. No, there's no Americans. No Americans, no, yeah, no neutral, no, no neutral English accents. Uh, <laughs> Nico, neutral. Nico Rosberg has sort of a neutral English accent. Sort of. You, but can, you can tell yeah, the, the German underneath. Did you guys, have you guys ever seen that show, New Girl? Um, once yeah. or twice. Because, like, <laughs> this girl here looks like... Um, like that girl, oh, what's your friend? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her friend, her yeah, friend? yeah, yeah, her, her like does model look. friend. <laughs> 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 does look like her, kind of, yeah, in this picture. Oh my god, uh, Louis, get over uh, her, yeah, you know, find a creative outlet. Where's, where's Roscoe? Where's Where Roscoe? Is this? Is this? Hashtag, where's Roscoe? Yeah, I want to, I want to hear, like, is Roscoe going to be in those songs? He's probably, yeah, he's probably barking outside the studio, yeah. <laughs> ruining all his best takes. That's what he's gonna tell everybody. I yeah, thought, yeah. I thought he would his, when his albums. <laughs> Roscoe was kept barking. I thought he would like sample his dog's barks and like put it as like a drum beat or something like that. That would be funny. Some sort of beat. Yeah. A bark beat. Are we done with this? <laughs> song. Yeah, yeah, we, I think so. Hey, but welcome, welcome back to the podcast. Welcome yes. back to the podcast, yes, guys. Yes, yes. We're here this week. No emergencies. Sorry about that flop last week. <laughs> yeah, we kind of um, shit the proverbial bed. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back, okay. back and forth. And this, 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 we're gonna do uh, a Malaysia um, sort of review the, in, in this episode, mm-hmm. as well as a China preview. Mm, preview. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Shameless shout outs to ourselves. Flatoutfever.com. Listen to Bamboo. That's for that. All the links. Intro song. Dot intro com. song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Flat Out Fever on email, Twitter, and all the good things. Subscribe on iTunes. Yeah, we got iTunes out. Uh, we have a website, flatoutfever.com. You can watch it, listen in your car. What you're driving It's to good work. times. Yeah, I, I love it. Actually, driving like, your go kart. I don't listen to them, but. <laughs> Future <laughs> F1 drivers. Yeah. yeah. Um, the. Uh, the, the the guys from um, or one of the guys from the Five Lights podcast um, tweeted us that he was listening to us driving. So I, I'd like to I'd like to give a shout out to them. Uh, I hope we didn't cause him to speed. <laughs> 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 like oh my god, these guys are infuriating. <laughs> Causes a crash. Yeah, he's, he's coming down with something and just yeah. dropped them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th- thanks to those guys. Uh, we we just got back to the, we they just joined a, or we just joined their. Um, uh, the fantasy, fantasy league. The, yeah, the fantasy league, yeah, and they're kicking we're doing my that butt. too. We're, we're we're in fantasy league. Compete with us, compete with them. Well, Join. Uh, they dropped the gauntlet on us. Yeah. yeah, we're dropping it back. I don't think yeah, they. Really. I don't think they understood the force. 
that they were dealing with <laughs> so when, far, they, when they invited you. So far, I'm dominating all yeah. three of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, flat out fever podcast on uh, badgergp.com if you want to compete. It's still early in the season. You got lots of time to catch up. Oh, yeah. No, Passcode. Don't, don't think that. So, yeah, I, I read somewhere that somebody was like, oh, like, you know, it's, we're into the second race. No, whatever. Join now. You, there's still oh, plenty yeah. of time. No, there's still. Yeah, and there's, there's people you can beat already. Uh, me, for example. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm dead last in all of them. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, My time. random picks still fucking are uh, top, top show. It's working for you. I know. 681942 to compete with us and mm, five, because mm, mm. I had trouble finding it, the number five Lights League passcode 459062. Right. Uh, with them. All these numbers. I want, I want to give uh, another shout out to. Yeah, it's all on the website. Go to our website yeah. and like check our check our Twitter. It's all there. Um, the contact link. I want to give a shout out to to the guys for um, uh, from the um, uh, the other podcast. Uh, it escapes my mind right now. Oh, How dare those? you? Yeah, uh, it's dare on, you? on the limit. The on, on the on the limit on the limit podcast. Yeah, those oh those guys God. are pretty good too. Pretty good too. They're. Um, uh, their, their episode also comes out. They, they usually put an episode out when our episode comes out. Mm. Uh, so this is it, a direct competition. What are you <laughs> supporting? <them? laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, well, people can just listen to all of them. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's true. Yeah. The true fans. It's, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is for. What else are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff, uh, including Alonso. Uh, oh, one more. We're, we're, st- we're also competing on f1.udt.co.za. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same league name. And... Um, Five lights, guys. Join us there. Like I said, it's early. Yeah. Drop the gauntlet back. UDT. It's a lot of fun as well. That's true. Yeah. And shout out to fantasyf1league.com. It's uh, if you're not, if you don't think you're into fantasy F1 leagues, check this one out. It's less than, uh not too involved, and it's, you have lots of fun too. You get to do some predictions. Yeah, I gotta be like totally fun. honest, and I've never been part of any fantasy league. No, me either. Except me neither. Dungeons and Dragons, but that's <laughs> its own sort I of vaguely, kettle of fish. Yeah, I vaguely knew they existed, yeah. and I know like football and stuff. People put lots of money into it. Yeah, they put it. money into that. Yeah, like, yeah it's crazy. It's just, <sighs> nope, no money involved here. It's just fun. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's for good. glory and honor yeah. and honor. <laughs> yeah. For your family, bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roscoe Rocket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, was that with the shout outs? That's it. Oh well, yeah. So and and what else are we gonna talk about today? Bunch of stuff. Uh, well, let's uh, let's, do, let's see this Malaysia recap. Oh yeah, because uh, that was a, that was a really happened. good. I I we really didn't get I mean to talk about it. We, yeah, we didn't get to talk about it again. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but uh, I thought it was a fantastic race. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it, it actually. Yeah, a little, a little <laughs> made more. up for Australia for sure. Yeah, uh, Australia seemed a it little. It was interesting little in limp. its own way, but it wasn't <laughs> too exciting. Yeah, <gasps> interesting stories go from Australia. Yeah, uh, like we like we saw, but uh, Malaysia was action from the beginning to the end. It was yeah. cool. Did the surprise victory? Maybe by, by did the win surprise you guys? I surprised me. I was surprised. I was happy though. Yeah. Not too surprising though. Well, that's, I wasn't that's happy my because my fantasy league <laughs> didn't uh, yeah. suffered uh, from that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm a, like I'm happy um, that Vettel like won the race for Ferrari, but I what I still want to see what's happening between him and Raikkonen because Raikkonen didn't finish both races so far. Oh, oh well, he, he did. did. You know, he oh, did finish. Shit. I, I well, have so, him on my he, sorry, sorry. He, he finished, but he, he had he some problems. He yeah, he had, didn't get to compete sorry, with uh, Vettel. Yeah, he did a tire puncture. Right near the start of this race, and they look they look very evenly matched, uh, Raikkonen and and, and Vettel. Yeah, I want to see them car. go right to the end yeah. together. Like they both they both qualified at the top, but yeah, that, so that I, tire explosion was dramatic, though. That was pretty incredible. Yeah. I, I brought this up when, during during our when pieces. we watched the race. Yeah. But what is that sort of rivalry between like inner like inner team competition? Like I've asked this before, and like I got like sort of like a vague answer, but like it it sometimes like they're like yeah you know race each other, or sometimes it's like no let this guy go ahead, it'll be better for the team or sort of it's yeah it's is it's, it that it's, exactly it's, it's that it's definitely that and there's a lot of everything man there's mm. like yeah. there's there's teammates that get along really well, um, there's teammates that like hate each other that have had like problems oh, in the past uh, what Let's we saw with rumors. Hamilton and 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 Rosberg last year all throughout like they did, they weren't talking to each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, but also like it, the, there are teams like as well. There are teams that um, give like are very strong on, on giving team orders. 
Ferrari used to be uh, the kind of team that like would tell mm. their second driver like slow down the the other driver is gonna pass you like that's just the way things go like Ooh, we gotta do shit. this real old school well yeah they're they're, they're looking after championship points because championship mm-hmm. points are the ones that make the money right right so if if it works out like you know the other driver for whatever strategy reason like either they're just having either a good day and going faster right or um they're on better tires etc cetera, etc cetera, um the other guy has like a, uh, an upcoming suspension failure or something that's not quite right with the car so mm-hmm. they know that the other guy won't be able to like challenge for a win like instead of like having them fight they're like yo just let the other guy through just just let him do it yeah and 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 that's that's sort of it, it's it becomes definitely definitely more apparent towards the end of the season once once the the teams are going to have to like calculate yeah. strategy mm. always towards the end of the season like the last oh, leg like those flyaways it becomes really tense because they're, uh, they're they're trying to like they're trying to get as much the, mileage the, out of yeah, it well, and the teams care about the the, the constructor championships over over um, their own personal well, points yeah because okay. And at the end of every every race, you gotta drive both cars both cars home. There's no ne- there's no okay. sense in like promoting a ridiculous fight where the two drivers could take each other out because that's only bad for you. Yeah, as, right. As far as rivalries, like in a lot of ways, the, the teammate is the m- most intense too. Because mm. especially if the team's a winning team, one of the top teams, oh. because they're both they're both in the same car. And right. It comes down to it comes down more to the the guy. Yeah. More to the man. Interesting. In the in the car. That's well, cool. That's something that we're gonna see all year. I'm mm-hmm. sure. Like you'll like you'll you'll get to see too. I want to see a fist fight well, this this year. I'm, it's gonna. I mean, if, if it starts getting Crazy. heated with um, with Hamilton and Rosberg, like to the point that uh, Ferrari's challenging them enough that I hope it gets heated between Hamilton and Vettel. Yeah, so. yeah, that's gonna get good too. Hopefully, <laughs> if, some cutting it's corners be something and stuff if, like if that. If Vettel can keep outdoing Rosberg, that'll be something. Yeah. We'll see. Ooh. I really want to see Raikkonen finish a race, though. Like, or like, I have a fantasy league, so I hope so. <laughs> he did. He finished. He finished Malaysia, but he just he had problems throughout. Yeah, well, I, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, finish a race with them, like where they're both together. Yeah, like finish a race with Vettel. That's True, that's what, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I want to see the two of them. The, that's that's the team rivalry. I want to see the two of them fighting. Yeah. Mm. Well, I want to put uh, it out there, but Alonso. Used to have a huge lead over Raikkonen, and this year Vettel <laughs> on the same car seems to be only just slightly edging uh, Raikkonen so far. Well, like so we make your make your own yet, minds. We've yet to see <laughs> the distance between them. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I don't, yeah, the, the rookies this year, man. Oh man, it's, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because like, this is a, the the criticism of, of a lot of these guys is they're too young. They change like we talked about before. They changed the super license rules because of right. Max Verstappen is seventeen years old. He did, he did a pretty good job. Like he got he got his first uh, points on F one. Uh, some of these guys Red being Bulls. criticized as pay drivers as well. Oh shit! Because they, they bring in it's sponsorship money, and like that's that could be like a reason why they're racing. Mm. But Na- Felipe Nasser uh, in the Sauber, he's bringing the most sponsorship on account of him being Brazilian and Brazil and Banco do that's Brazil. That's Branco de Brazil is mm. the biggest sponsor of that team. Oh, that's right. I remember that. But he w- he's been finishing races up there too. I mean, of course, like th- their Ferrari engine this year is like way better than whatever they yeah, had yeah. last year. But still, it seemed like uh, Marcus was gonna do pretty well too. But he spun out in that first corner where he got just trapped in the sand. Poor guy. It wasn't near the start of the race too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the rookies are like I don't know, no criticism from me. I like except for um, except for maybe Maldonado. <laughs> I saw this the other day. Uh, that he had the record last year for the most penalties in a season. <laughs> Craziness. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. Ten, and I was like, ten eh, penalties, I think it was. That, that's like an all-time Formula One record. Like you've got, like you've. <laughs> the penalty rules have gotten anyway. a little more strict, but that makes Some it of them worse because of him. That ma- yeah, that makes it worse, really. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because of him. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's got so many. Yeah. He crashed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, many, so many times. The mild Yeah. Um, McLaren didn't finish. None of the McLaren cars finished. Both of them yeah. uh, got, got pulled in. Um, but the likes of um, of Martin Brundle on the, on the, on the after show um, were saying that, you know, it's it, even though... Uh, they pulled both cars um, on reliability grounds or whatever. Uh, 
they did seem a lot better. And it's true. Like, the, the, the McLarens, during Australia, like, the one McLaren, like, uh, Jensen's car, when he finished, like, even though he did, he finished 11, the real pace of that car would have been, like, like Marussia last year. It was, like, at the back of the pack. It just it didn't finish all the way down there because not enough cars finished. Yeah. But he was there last. Um, and now, the uh, last race uh, for Malaysia, they were up there challenging and fighting. Until they until they were to, told to stop. <laughs> right. Not, now you both cars save, save the cars. Yeah, they didn't exactly die, but <laughs> yeah, they, they stopped them both. They can't. They can't. Well, they, they've lost one engine each, so the two McLarens are down to three engines. Well, Alonso, his Alonso didn't lose an engine. His car did. Okay, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, it spontaneously combusted itself. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I saw. Button was in some interview said uh, he's expecting something like an avalanche of performance coming forward from this Honda engine towards the end of the season. So we'll, because we'll, it we'll was see. man, because he's it was just, pretty uh, drastic. It's like it's it. They did like some may say that the car did go like a few steps ahead. Yeah, and if they just keep doing, I think it was that, notice, noticeable from Australia. They were yeah, sort of in the middle pack, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were doing something. We'll see. Good luck to Ho- them. Hopefully, like I, I, I really do hope. Not, Try- not only because I really like Fernando Alonso, but because I'd really like to see them both like mixing up with like they probably won't be challenging for wins anytime soon. But up there, you know, with the uh, with the Lotus, with the uh, um, with the Williams, even Malaysia. There was at the the record hottest ever. They've been running that race for whatever like o- Since over a decade. Yeah, like f- over fifteen years. And that was the hottest the track's ever been at the start of a race. It's like oh, thirty fuck. something degrees. So it's gonna be a lot cooler in China, like actually. Yeah, and they're saying so, that that could favor Mercedes again, maybe. What about the horrible? But just smog. just McLaren should have, hopefully, better reliability because the heat like, that makes when you're dry, blasting the going three hundred kilometers an hour through the heat too, and you're trying to pump that into a radiator. It's, yeah, that's, I don't know. But really, smog. they're the only ones that had. <laughs> and the smog. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, the smog, is coming. The, sc- the smog is the coming. The smog is coming. The smog is coming. That that race has, has only gotten worse with the smog. The, the China race. <laughs> like, haven't you noticed any? It's like from like years back. It's coming here too. Uh, it's getting warmer. eventually. It'll come here. Yeah. I remember I played that in uh, F1 2015 or 2014, and it's like clear as day. <laughs> I, I know if you go like if, if we watch the race, it's gonna be yeah all smoggy, <laughs> pretty hazy. Dude. Yeah, yeah. That that uh, the Chinese track you're talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. and it, it has the longest straight in Formula One. That oh really? Yeah, and like if th- there's like long camera shots where like sometimes you can barely see like the, <laughs> the other straight. Other end of oh the track. my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, but wait, no. Before we talk about China, yeah. um, we're talking Let's about finish up Malaysia. Um, Kimi got a puncture, and I think that he. Even though he did like drive from the back of the pack all the way up to the front, like magnificently, like that, the, the, this was Raikkonen in top form, the best we've seen it. Like, look, like looking back to like his McLaren days, even. Um, it was, it was, uh, yeah, that's why I want to see him fight up there with Vettel because he he pushed his way back and passed w- w- like Vettel was just doo-doo-doo. basic most of the time just cruising, right? He yeah. had to put he lapped a few cars or during wind cars pit, you pass a few, but. <laughs> no, Raikkonen was just he was racing him like all of them. Oh like, yeah, yeah. He, he he was like Passed taking everybody. that car from left right, but still like and even he said it uh, on, on the after race interview that uh, have just having that uh, that tire pop and he had to do like more than half a circuit before going back to the pits. That just yeah. fucked the just, underside of his car yeah. mm-hmm. enough to like that that he noticed a decrease in performance. So that car like so he still had like even more pace than that. That's it's, that's, that's the thing. Impressive. And and I've seen I've actually noticed that like like sometimes especially like when uh, when cars are getting like uh, or or cars that have heavily benefited of um, rear downforce like mm. cars that have historically had like like really good uh, diffusers and stuff like that when they have a tire puncture and ha- and have to go on like scrape the underside of the car they do lose performance a lot. Yeah, I guess the gr- grinding it down. Almost, well, but we get the sparks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, see, I, I, I didn't remember hearing that, but that's interesting. Like a few weeks ago, remember we spent we spent quite a while talking about how these planks work. Yeah. So it's interesting that he popped a, popped his back tire, scraped the car around half a lap, like basically ru- like rubbing almost at full speed. Yeah. 
and I guess probably nowhere close to a disqualification. Like, so no. there must be a lot of room there for for scrapage, I guess. And it's I don't a, know, and, like, and, the, and the measure of the plank, right? And I think that yeah. what would have gotten more impact would have been the corner, the actual corner of the. Uh, yeah, the they car. guess they measure the holes in in the plank. Right, and yeah, have, that's in the middle yeah. of the car. And you have the titanium not, blocks. Uh, not off to the side, right? Like where yeah. the suspension is it's hitting. Sort of, sort of like yeah. eight of them or six of them, whatever it was. Yeah. I think I think we're talking about like maybe like the left side of his car, like the real left. That that piece of carbon fiber that sticks out, the black like the black underside, that probably got like quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Like, you know, it, <laughs> I wish we could have a bit like see that video again of that shot of the tire exploding. <laughs> oh man. Man, pieces of the tire went up like 20, 30 feet in the air. That's some crazy dilapidation <laughs> that we hadn't seen for like a couple of years. <laughs> Instant degradation. Yeah. <laughs> we need more intense. of that. that, that that's sick, that yeah. That, that will happen when so, when there's puncture. <laughs> we need uh, um, uh, road rash in for F one. Is it play that game? No. Oh What's my that? god! It, it's like this biking. It's like uh, motorcycles, and you are like, I can't remember like in your oh, gang. Oh, I think you, I remember my brother being into people that. with, with yeah. weapons and stuff. It's just hilarious. Yeah, like that, like that, like that segment of it's a Sega, Sega Genesis might have had that way back. game. Yeah. Mm. Look it up, guys. If you're listening, look it up. It's brilliant. <laughs> There's actually a new one coming out called Road Redemption. It's done by a different people, but it's very it's much in the same. Oh man, it's hilarious, <laughs> and the music is so, fantastic. So you're talking about like chain, chain, yeah, I want chain, the, the, chains and out. like maces and ah! baseball bats inside the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> and there's also uh, there's also cops in it, so oh, like okay. cops will try to bust you. So if you get knocked off and a cop finds you, you're done. So they get cops on there, and then you can beat shit the cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite so funny. Nice. They could send out like one or two other cars that aren't involved in the race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a driver and an attack guy on the other side. <laughs> <Nah>! <laughs> Just to spice the yeah. Bernie, are you listening? Yeah. This is gold this here. Is like, <laughs> spice up, will love it. This is how you spice up the show, man. Yeah. Yeah. Adding <laughs> sparks and green shit. Fuck off. They could be. They could be those like street Mercedes, right? So they're not as fast. They're not as fast, but uh, they're they're crazy performance oh cars. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. And then in there, they could have. Like an arsenal in the back seat. Oh, you know perfect! I mean? You can you can't really fit people in those type of cars at the back, anyways. <laughs> Fill it up with a pile of weapons, <laughs> well, no, like maces and shit, like old like battle yeah, uh, no, weapons. No, like rocket launchers or anything crazy. Just no, like melee no, weapons. Like, or like ridiculous. What, 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 about, what about the old axes. the old patch of oil? <laughs> oh my god! Yes, <laughs> not, like bloop, Bernie. <laughs> Yeah, got spikes and shit on your switch wheel. on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, man, wheel spikes. Holy <laughs> fuck! Yes, chariot racing style. You gotta have a couple rocket boosts. Yeah. For, for oh, nitro, right? That's oh, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. nos. <laughs> no, the nos. Nos power ups. Yeah. So the, the guy that's hanging out has to gra like grab tanks and yeah. Actually, it's real life, so he's gonna have to screw them. Oh man, that would be system. fantastic. <laughs> that would just be. That'd be a whole nother level for sure. I mean, I definitely watch more of that. <laughs> you think they could get this organized for Bahrain? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> three, three more weeks or so. Bernie, <laughs> get on the horn right now. Come on. Yeah. Start making some calls. <laughs> yes, I love this idea. Uh, good times. Speaking of ridiculous ideas. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, no, I mean... I, I, not, not ridiculous at all, but I, I wanted to look at that well, picture quite the contrary. <laughs> again of of um, of the Haas livery because that was kick ass. Uh, oh yeah, I think, oh. I think it's probably the next. Yeah, this one. one. Yeah, yeah. there we go. All right, let's take a look. Good to see like their Facebook. No, but it, it is kind of ridiculous looking, but it but in a good way. Mm. Yeah, it's, you, it's cool, man. With that big Ferrari, fucking. Yeah, the horse. So horse. Who, who, who are the... What is this? This who is, the, is this? The, the American team that's joining F1 next year. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is funny. With, like, Haas is so... I love it because at the start of the season, all the teams are like... Uh, Red Bull came out with that camo thing. And yeah. Other teams were like teasing it, changing the, for, uh, their liveries and stuff. They just come out with it. <laughs> this, is for, yeah. uh, this is for next year. Boom. This looks yeah, like it's uh, bad, uh, it's bad like, ass a, looking. like a prototype for a new beer that they want to like try to market. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, they're like let's test, like let's <laughs> test the waters with the color palette <laughs> yeah. and the flavor. It's like it tastes new, like gasoline. New buzz, Bud Gold. But it's gold. almost like a, a like the color maybe that beer mixed with gas would look like. Oh, the gold is very it's like, oily. It's a, it's a black and tan. A black and tan. <laughs> yeah. Have you had a black and tan? Yes, so I have. Yeah. No, no, I, I haven't. haven't. You never had a dark and tan? No. It's like Guinness with cider, but they put they put it they poured it into stages. I didn't stages. have it with cider. I had it with 
Or with so, beer. I had it with a beer. Actually, but, no, there's like a, yeah, black and gold. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. But. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, it looks like, so it, it has like the, the heavy Guinness at the bottom and then like the beer at the top. You never had that? No. Okay, you should have Ask it. Ask for it. Yeah. So, I don't know. The, I don't know. Just, for, just, just for the just gimmick. No, okay. <laughs> you can get it, I guess, in a pint. I've got it in a pitcher before. Oh, shit. Just, yeah. Shit. And you have. Ooh, it's a, it's was this sweet. in Mississauga? Mississauga is known for things like that. Uh, <laughs> that I don't know. That ridiculous nature. <laughs> I don't know. I had it, I've had it a few places. <laughs> I've had it. Might uh, have been. Coke and beer. Cola and beer. Uh, it was in Germany. In Germany. Yeah. Yeah. I never, I, I, it's, I like, was, it's like what kids I was drink. just going to say. Like, they do that in Europe. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. They don't give a shit over there. They're like, you guys want some beer? Like, oh, I want the sugar. <laughs> It's just so, like Coke and it is not. It's, it's not, actually good. I'm not going to lie. They do something similar in Colombia, but it's not Coke. It's a different pop. It's oh. just like champagne soda. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, like it's, it's, it's actually like more like a Sprite I, type of thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, like a lime soda or something. It's like, it's, yeah, I'd say it's some, the, the taste of it is somewhere in between like um, cream. Um, uh, what's what's a, the cream one? Cream, cream, cream soda. Cream soda. Yeah, cream, it's, cream it's soda? somewhere in between cream soda and uh, Sprite. Yeah, somewhere in between there. Oh shit! And and they make it, it makes up with beer and it tastes pretty good. <laughs> mm. what, what do they call it? Ref, refajo. Wait, what is it? How do you translate? Is that <laughs> kitty, kids beer? No, kitty I, beer. I think it's like I, I don't think it has like a direct translation. I think it's a made up word. Just like it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why um, don't they have that here? I don't know. Canada. We're all fucking conservative Canada, and shit. Canada, give your kids beer. It's delicious. Today, Today is National have... Beer Day Today Canada. is National Beer Day. Fuck yes. off. Let's fucking cheers that. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, guys. Oh, fuck. My beer is empty now. Oh, my, no. mom, my mom texted me that earlier, though. Like, oh, two what hours a nice ago. lady. Two hours ago, like she gave me tons of time to drink beer today. <laughs> <laughs> this is after. for you, son. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Um... Yeah, this, let's go back to Wolf here quickly. Yeah. Let's get him out of the way. Wolfie. Because Ferrari kicked their ass. Fair and square, as Vettel said. Mm-hmm. As Ferrari said. But I don't know. What do you think it was fair and square? Well, it, well I mean, yeah, it was. They out-strategized them. But you, what, one thing Do, that, you were, that you brought up before we, we actually started doing this is that yeah. we don't know how much the, the Mercedes was turning their engine down. Yeah, because he look at his face. He looks a little devious. That's yeah. a good choice of photo. Whoever's editing Grand P Pre Twenty Four Seven dot com. Looks like he's up to something. Yeah, Grand P Twenty Four Seven dot com. Good, good photo choice. Yeah, he does. He, I don't know, because yeah, there was a lot of talk, and all the way through last year and into the start of the season, and in Australia about. <laughs> These guys domination? are kicking everybody's ass too much. So you think? So, wait. So you think that might Mercedes deliberately maybe. chose like some sort of lower mm. engine setup or some sort of engine map that didn't that they knew wouldn't favor them, just to put on, give on themselves some sort of a maybe. handicap maybe. because they didn't think that they were going to be challenged anyway. Maybe. Look at and that it's guy. true though. And, they but, could, well, I'm not saying that that's true, but nobody, nobody, nobody thought. Everybody, everybody was talking, and I, and I remember all the commentaries, like even people that have been in F1 forever. They were like just writing this Malaysia off to Mercedes because of those lo- uh, those two long straights. They say, "No, oh, nobody's gonna touch Mercedes if if Mercedes were dominant in Australia. Wait, what was gonna happen? Right. Like, watch what's gonna happen in Malaysia." Are all these sort of like predictions yeah. and like guesses towards how the next race is gonna be based on like the previous race? And yeah, uh, and obviously his, Australia his, from the the two right now. And that's historically, happened. a lot of people like look into like you know historical performance. Right. But the problem with doing that is that especially so early in the years, so and yeah. we don't know about these guys yet. Right. They're, a lot could have changed from last year to this year, and and mo- granted, most of the time, with regulations like this, it doesn't. It, you, especially with recently what happened with uh, Red Bull, um, they kept dominating year after year mm. because they, they had a better grasp on the aer- aer- aerodynamics of the overall formula mm-hmm. until they changed the exit the, the engines. So people people still like believe like, oh yeah, Mercedes is gonna be like way 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 up there, but right, wrong. <laughs> yeah, and I think if you want to put on put on your Tin foil cone hat. Oh, <laughs> maybe. this is my favorite hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn your head, turn your head into a silver arrow. If this, <laughs> this guy maybe there's conspiracy that they didn't even tell the drivers about it. They oh, just they just fuck. turned down the engines a little oh, bit. Oh, that's that's dirty. Let's, let's, I love Ferrari, that. let's Ferrari gets one win. They will stop talking about how they dominate them, <laughs> and then that's it. Um, His direct quote is: "Hopefully, all this nonsense about equalization stops now." 
Oh, that's what <laughs> that's what they chose to quote about. Now, <laughs> and he actually said said that on live TV. I watched it; it was hilarious. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't watch it live, but I watched the the, the live yeah, show. Yeah, all this yeah. nonsense. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> all this, hopefully, all this nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Something <laughs> I've uh, noticed since sort of the, trying to get used to Formula One and getting to know the drivers and. There's a lot of fucking shit talking. Like, there's a yeah. lot. They're like, now that guy, that guy's an asshole. Like, fuck that guy. And the, fuck their team. The polite term that F1 pundits use is sandbagging. That's, we, we were talking about, like, people sandbag. Yeah, that's what it is. Shit that's talking. what it is. Holy shit, shit, man. That's unreal. I, I, it seems like it's... I'm my background's European. It seems very European to do that. Like it's just like, no, nah, he's a fucking twat. Like he's an asshole. Like yeah. fuck this guy and their stupid team. Especially when you have hundreds of million dollars and sure, like two hundred egos behind you. Yeah, it gets, yeah. It gets intense. It gets intense. And the, yeah. yeah, that's great. Good for them. Throw in a little danger. Yeah, yeah. Splash of WWE in there. Yeah. <laughs> This keeps it. This keeps it fresh, and I think finally here, Lewis Lewis contract. He's set to be. Where's I that? don't know. There, I don't think anymore. I don't know, there were some kind of rumors. Do I have it? Maybe the the first one. I see Hamilton's name. Oh no, that's a, no, that's, that's this one. one. Whatever. We don't need an article about it. Or, we we, we don't need a picture. He we was, we was supposed to be. I don't know. There was rumors that he was going to be maybe Britain's most highest paid, richest athlete of all time or something. But Jesus. then. This is this is from last week because we missed yeah. the show. But just to touch on it, he was, I guess, ninety nine point nine percent close. He said to signing a twenty seven million dollar deal, and he still hasn't. But he hasn't. That that includes all his bonuses, though. <laughs> but I think with the Ferraris kicking their ass there, he'd be a dumbass to sign it now. Yeah, so just step back because there was other rumors about him talking with Ferrari months mm. ago. Within his negotiations, you know what? And so, in, if we're not gonna have uh, Alonso and Vettel, clearly, because I mean, we're not gonna have Alonso and Vettel in the same car. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, and it's too late. Then the next best thing to me would be yeah, Alonso and Lewis in the same car. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's throw way it better. Fucking yeah, especially now he's the current champion. I'd love to see it. Well, who knows? I guess I don't know. Who knows about Raikkonen? Well, I, I'm sure that Raikkonen would be happy to retire. They, like, if this is if this is Ra- Raikkonen's last year, like he he won't be even faced. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's got his kid now yeah. to take care of and stuff. He's got his millions. So I have a kids. serious question yeah. about Raikkonen. Yeah. Um, do you think he can turn the season around? Uh, maybe his team more so. I guess it's more of his team than him being a competent driver. Well, I mean, well, yeah, for, for Ferrari's up there. And I think I think he can yeah, challenge Vettel both, for, both, for position. Both of his problems weren't his fault, mm-hmm. right? They're just well, I guess one was the car and one was just the tire of whatever they get. Right. Just, well, why I'm asking is because I'm in my fault. fantasy league and <laughs> I'm really, I really should. I'm worried I, if I should trade him or not. Listen, I don't know. Jay, Jay thinks he's got it. Okay. Jay thinks he's got it. Well, you have him on your, in your league. I think so. Yeah. Too. Oh, okay. And one well, he was them. cheaper, so I went yeah. for him. I don't, and I have more points in it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but the, so is a far fantastic be, driver, oh, yeah. yeah. And he's he's yeah, yeah. he's a, he's a not, championship not winning driver, him. even though some people might say that you know his one championship it's because anyway, yeah, uh, he, that he won it because other stuff, uh, what's going on. Now, maybe I'll touch on that later, but um. He he is he is very quick. He's massively quick, mm. uh, and when he's on, like, and this is what people on F like uh, in, in the previous and whatever they, they keep saying because they've 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 seen it happen. Like when mm. when he's on and when he's when, on, yeah, he's he's he can be he can be up there with like with the grades, mm. and if the car suits him and evidence has like has shown that maybe this new Ferrari suits him a lot better than last year's car then then he'll be able to like you know light it up and tear it down mm. and and that's that's what we, I I would hope to see that cuz Raikkonen's driving is a, is a, it has a little bit of his personality in it right. where he's like just very like like when 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 he when he sees a gap and there's there like uh, oh, he has I'm a chance going. yeah he's gonna he's gonna yeah, go for push it you out. yeah <laughs> so so that that's gonna be good to see hopefully mm. like if if he if him and Vettel can get that because also because once the day is gone I'm sure that like they're both just the, in their personalities they're friends for a while I'm sure they won't get into the whole like oh I'm not gonna talk to you again yeah. like, they'll probably just be like all right cool I'll get you next time or something <laughs> <laughs> and not not because I dislike Raikkonen but because. 
I love Hamilton. I'd love to see him retire and give the seat up to Hamilton. Oh, that would be good too. I, mm. I would be happy with both things. The other thing for Hamilton too is that Vettel is making 50 million euro at Ferrari. 50 million. So 27 million pounds for Lewis isn't... I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. He's only a two-time champion though. Vettel is a four-time champion. Mm. So. You should ask what the people think about Raikkonen. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. What, do you, what, what does everybody think about Raikkonen? I, I, is I, he blown out of the water? Does he, does he deserve another team with a better car? <laughs> nah. Wild speculation. <laughs> no, he's, he's towards the end of his career, though. And, like, he, yeah. he is the oldest Personally, guy in F1 done. right now. Uh, uh, okay. So, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, and he, he may just. If have, he retires, he's like, fucking yeah. whatever. Yeah. He's been there forever. He started yeah. as one of the youngest way back when oh, he was shit. like 21 22 something like that yeah has he won now championships he one guy. championship oh, okay one, yeah, that's good for him one. yeah but then he like shortly after he's semi retired well he retired from f1 and he's just been back like they uh, he was out of f1 for a few years for a couple of years a few okay. years um yeah um still yeah. good good, good doing, driver doing, and funny guy i don't know he was doing rally racing right he was doing he did a bit of or rally in, and he did a bit of he, he was even he was even in the states uh um, Doing the the NASCAR, the, you know, with the one with that's with the pickups. Oh yeah, I think that's called, or the Winston Cup. I have no idea. I forget. They, that, it goes by the sponsorship. So <laughs> yeah. it might have changed. No idea. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe our our, our 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 good friend Ryan Morgan from the states. He's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a cool guy. He always comments whenever we we say NASCAR stuff that we clearly <laughs> don't know what we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He always corrects us on 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 on, on the comments. I think uh, it's the Sprint Cup is the cars and the Na- I Winston think, yeah. Cups the trucks. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. Ryan, please, please help show us. us the light. <laughs> help us, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, uh, we'll get back to you guys on this, but, but yeah, yeah. He, so he did he did the, the trucks thing with NASCAR and yeah, <laughs> That's funny. for a little bit and the yeah, and Riley as well. Both I think his one of his big sponsors in, on both uh, things was uh, Red Bull actually. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Um, what else do we got? Do we got anything else, anything else about Malaysia? Uh, I don't know. It just I looks like a enough. mouth. It was weak. Looks like it's eating something. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, that's true. It was last week. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. draw a little face on it. On this? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Well, what have we got? Oh, here? on the on the map. On the map. Yeah, that's, no, a, that's one. Turn. To the right. There yeah, you go. That's good. There it is. Oh, look that's at this map. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's okay. How like, is this not <laughs> like? It's like, or it looks like some sort of like uh, beast from Star Wars. Like if you imagine like a sort of like a body here and some stumpy legs. Oh yeah. Put some teeth on there. It well, almost the, looks the, like the it has teeth, teeth are there. Yeah. yeah it's oh, got teeth. teeth already. The grandstands. <laughs> Those... <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It looks the like he's about to eat the umbrellas in the world. Yeah, he's, it's about to eat the mall area. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> Good for them. Yeah. Yeah, nice. good good track though overall. I mean, it, yeah. it was it was action packed. I loved it. I loved that race. Yeah. I think it, I think it redeemed itself. I yeah, uh, it's funny because like when I was playing the race, when I was like figuring it out, like I didn't expect this to be such a fun part of it. You know what I mean? Like I was like, just oh, it's a straightaway. It's kind of moving. it's slowly, but like you have to like you're going top speed, and then you got to like slow down for this turn, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking gun it. Th- this race, especially, there were actually quite a few fights out right on that. Uh, right on this corner. Right on that hairpin. Yeah. Yeah. There was that one badass shot uh, when, like, when Hamilton went in the pits. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That the was... Helicopter kind of like. It was just like per- perfect timing with the helicopter. My when, when Vettel was just about to pass him. <laughs> he jumped in the pit. He's like, nah. Martin Brundle like uh, also ha- he has a helicopter license, and he was Whoa, I think crazy. it was last year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he's a he 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 can fly a helicopter, and he he did a segment. Why isn't he doing was... the commentary from up there then, man? Oh, he go well, for a couple laps or something. He, he did in one episode. Uh, oh, he actually sure. went up there for doing that. during practice or something. I forgot. Anyway, but uh, he like. Uh, um, Brundle was saying like what what the helicopter driver uh, for FOM for for like the, the guy that does the helicopter camera yeah like he's like he's like doing some stunt helicopter flying kind of shit like sure. all the time because like he's just like like he's apparently flying like directly on an angle like that and like that's like what he's like when you're learning how to fly a helicopter that's exactly what they tell you, you not don't to do, do. That. Yeah, like, don't, don't do, do that, that. <laughs> yeah. that's how you get going really fast when you get, yeah. get the fan on a crazy angle yeah but but also like at that point you have to like 
like you have to just be very very aware of like the wind currents because one of those could like do something and like right. send you back to the ground right away or something yeah i know it's crazy do, do you remember at the uh, the u.s race i think it was maybe two years ago that guy was swooping down all the time <laughs> yeah is that the same guy you're talking about well, it's, it? it's always the same one helicopter driver for her for form for for, uh, oh, okay. for Bernie. I, I thought i figured they just had diff- whoever worked no in, apparently in, like, it's, in it's whatever a, country it's the one guy oh yeah okay cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you got told not to fly so low and he went, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that was crazy. Let me take over this other side for one second. Yeah, dude. Mike, Mike had to step out here. Wait, quickly before before we move right on from Malaysia, let's go one step back for a few seconds here. Right, there we go. And uh, oh yeah, give let's check out Daniel Ricciardo shout out and give her own shout out. This is a badass picture here. Oh yeah, this guy. You can see the uh, Australia track here, Albert Park, the big lake. Is it on here? So this was He's got the uh, piece of duct tape or some masking tape on his face. <laughs> Come, Come on, on Dan. Dan. But that's th- pretty sweet. Th- this is while the Grand Prix was going on. That's that's what's fantastic about this picture because right down there, they're 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 about to start the race. This is like, this is the jet uh, fighter that you see like doing the yeah when uh, right after the anthem and stuff when he flew by. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty badass. F eighteen, pretty pretty sweet. The comments of this of, of this are pretty hilarious. Like the one dude that's like, "Hey, like, is this such and such helmet or whatever?" Yeah, yeah. Pep- Pepsi over Coke at Strodito. <laughs> is that Ricardo wearing a JM HCS helmet system? Is that a Rhino or a FA eighteen D? Can't tell from this shot. <laughs> that helmet system is pretty incredible, though. Look at it. Yeah, because it's holes all this. Oh if if anybody knows, like, what's so what's pressurized in these cabins? Is it the whole thing, or is it just the mask, or is it the helmet and the mask? Yeah, is it like pressurized around? Because I like we were talking about this a bit before. Like when yeah. you go in a in a jumbo jet or whatever, you're flying somewhere, your ears pop. Oh yeah, because your whole face is repressurizing. Right. So like, I would like, does that thing cover your ears, or is it like your like your mask is pressurized, or is it just like? Yeah, but then we, you, but then you would feel it like in your eyes, right? Maybe I don't know. No, yeah, no. that's what I was wondering that too. Like, <laughs> if anybody's been on, you the feel G-fire. your eyes for sure from the G forces, I guess. Like, these eyes are probably getting sucked back right here. <laughs> True. I don't know. I don't know, man. That sick that's picture badass. though. Hey, sorry. Yeah, I just took over here for a second. I'm the producer now. Oh, you're not on the thing. Yeah, you, can yeah. You, can we see like the screen at least? The- oh no, they can't even see the. No. Oh, oh, like, there, yeah, shit, sorry guys, I'm not the producer anymore, <laughs> here's your headphones. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, have on, I'll have it on you guys for a bit. All right, we're back. We left it on Jay, because I, I thought I was a producer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I had to, well, I got fucking beers. <laughs> The fuck up! Let's get I you. Yeah, thanks, favor. You international beer day. National, <laughs> yeah. It's national beer day. Canada yeah. national or international? No, it's national. Some sort of beer day. Hey, no. hey, hey national, national beer day. Hey, Canada, hey. Canada only. Don't drink. Be drinking beers anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I need to. I need to open this. Or I never leave home without it. Yeah, I need one of these keychain openers. Yeah. This is convenient. I'm always asking you for your keys. <laughs> <laughs> you got one over there? No. no, I need this. Yeah, see, you need one too. Thank yeah, you. There you go. Everybody should have one. I just Come on. Break my it's in the man book. If I, tried to use I used to have one that was shaped like a shark. Nice. <laughs> yeah, would, like, would it open with like a, the jaws? With, with the teeth, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dope. <laughs> nice. Um, can we move right along from this? We are moving so along. Yeah. Do, do you have it over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and talk about some young drivers. A young driver. That's are we talking about very exciting? Are we talking about this yes. guy? Yes. Look at this car. Canada. I hope he's having a beer today. Yeah. He's Canadian. Well, he's like 17, though. Oh, is this our homeboy? Yeah, so. Is this our homeboy? This is Stroll. Yeah. It. We'll just have a Rihajo or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? Mix it with <laughs> some pop. <laughs> Rihajo? Rihajo? Oh, that was yeah. close. Yeah. Mix, um, mix it with some pop. Just don't, oh, drive, just yeah. don't, don't drive that thing after. <laughs> no, don't even. Not even one sober. <laughs> He is uh, he is a, about to start the um, FIA European Formula Three Championship with oh, the Prema Power shit. team. The Prema Power team is the like I guess they the, they are the championship uh, winners from last year. Okay, uh, so I guess this is the team to beat, I suppose this mm. year. So he's he's in arguably the best car. 
Um, and Very it, it, promising. You, you know what makes his car even better than like it being the best car? That it's right made there. out of gold. That right there. Maple oh, that maple leaf. Yeah. it has a leaf on it. Yeah. He's, he's sporting the maple leaf as he should. He's also uh, part of the Ferrari Young Drivers Academy. Uh-huh, uh, okay. Really, really promising guy. I've been saying it since the beginning of this podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, gonna follow his career. And uh, so the first race of the FIA Formula Three Championship um, is uh, is this weekend as mm-hmm. well as. Uh, yeah, with, but they're gonna be racing at Silverstone in England. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick track. We'll, we'll get to Silverstone when we get to Silverstone. But later, later in the summer, yeah. Yeah, it's sick. It's, no, the weather's not going to be nice there when they get there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no. This they this series too. Um, part, they have like their own um, calendar, obviously, but they do a lot of races um, together with uh, DMT. That's uh, uh, the German. Uh, uh, Deutsche Motorsport. What's it called? The touring cars. The German the touring, touring cars, cars yeah. championship. A track. Oh, I can't remember the. It's like acronym. Deutsche uh, Tourenwagen Masters or something like that. Tourenwagen. <laughs> <laughs> Wagon Master. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> Meister, Meister. Because yeah. Yeah, uh, Me- Meister is like, is like a champion. Yeah, uh, yeah, Seems yeah. Like it must a- be Meister. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So th- this will be like part of the supporting races for for DTM, and some of them, not all of them. Um, but yeah, no, very, hugely exciting. This this series, as you can see, look at this car. Like this car looks like a proper single seater, and it is a proper single seater. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, pimp. Yeah, and 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 uh, they they have like pretty good engines. Um, and from here, it's like it's no, it's a known. Um, sort of stepping block in your career to F1, like mm. uh, um, Verstappen, Max Verstappen, that was th- that is now racing in F1. Um, he was pulled from here, from this category, oh, straight shit. from here, straight, straight from F- uh, from Formula Three to F1. Um, so if you if you can demonstrate your 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 talent a lot, like you you can make a name here just from this point. Like the the big talent uh, uh, scouts and whatever start looking for like young talent uh, in these categories oh, and things okay. like that. Yeah. So Max ruined it though. He can't get into Formula One this year. Yeah, he can't. Only, not an adult yet. Um, what's the uh, power comparison between like some? Oh, of we're, we're, talk, we're talking about orders of magnitude, obviously. Like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but um, it's it's, it, it's still like pretty good. Quite fast. We're talking about. Yeah, it's, I find it, out how many horsepower here. Yeah, please. Um, but um, it it's not necessarily about the horsepower, but right. the power to weight ratio. Okay, and the downforce. And the downforce. They don't, they, they don't spend the crazy hours and money on all the aerodynamics. Oh, okay, that uh, Formula One does. Yeah. And okay. All the teams have like a standard package, pretty much. It's a, it's gotcha. a yeah, it's a stock series. Like all teams have pretty much the same engine, um, pretty much the same aero package. Um, but it's like how you do certain tunings to it uh, right. that make a difference. Um, uh, but and also like. Um, you, like your team also makes a difference, like how professional they are, like the the team itself is, mm-hmm. um, and these cars have a, 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 a t- even though they don't have a lot of power, like a ton of power, mm-hmm. um, they still have a pretty bi- a pretty good power to weight ratio because they're pretty light. There, like there's carbon fiber here and there, right? In okay. these cars, um, so it still feels like a proper racing car. These are these right. are, these okay. are proper racing cars, even though they're not they're yeah, not nowhere. I mean, it looks pretty fucking nuts. Open it's open wheel, you got your head sticking out. Yeah. It's the same same feel. Same feel, Sheesh. just not like remember when um actually uh when, when you, racing. No <laughs> <laughs> when you saw that video of uh, Richard Hammond going yeah. up like the categories, yeah, yeah. Uh, he actually yeah. had like he oh, hit one right. of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, that, and yeah, this was you, like, you, you remember his reaction even yeah, in the like lower even, the yeah, lower cars. Like, like I can't even. <laughs> he's terrified, putting his foot down. That's what he does for a living. You have to go fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 faster, faster! <laughs> you need to create downforce. <laughs> yeah, right, Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters. <laughs> Weird, they just it's like threw in the English word. Because I guess the Ma- masters like the, like Meister's the is like a master. Though. Yeah, but masters maybe like like it's in the more. sense that uh, the, the golf competition is called the masters. Maybe I don't know. I don't. Know. I guess so. All right, talk for a little bit. I'm gonna go to the washroom. For some reason, I just thought of uh, like an F1 car or F1 uh, yeah. car pulling a wagon like an old school <laughs> or- Oregon <laughs> Trail wagon. Touring back. It's like you've died died of dysentery. <laughs> uh, what's on? Yeah. What's next? What's going on? Um, I don't know. Just look, look at this. I don't know. Targa. What's that? Targa. Okay. Oh, that's Jay. Jay had a thing. Okay, I want to give a shout out um, to those drawings, man. 
Somebody, oh yeah, you guys gotta look Try this up. It was uh, somebody. Somebody threw. Oh, what if I could pull them up? Some somebody threw this on um, Reddit a few hours ago. It's uh, so be, I guess before AutoCAD or maybe somebody was just showing off because they they look like they're from the two thousands. But they're hand drawn, uh, like engineering drawings for uh, I think it's a Ferrari F ten and yeah, it looked. Awesome! It's incredible. It's in, it's in one of those links I sent you. For some reason, I can't. They don't like to come up, eh? Like, no. All right, what? Whatever. It's That's not, right. You guys. Can they're find they're it. incredible. Look look them up. It's it's. Oh my god! It looks like three D. It looks like three D AutoCAD. Yeah yeah yeah. Some, what, somebody's comment on the last one it was a like a drawing of the entire engine block. Yeah. With like with like cutaway cutaway, that that would have taken man months to complete. Yeah. Man like months. Months of 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 hours. Oh okay. With, like. I thought you said but, man months. <laughs> man, like, yeah. Like mammoth months? I don't know. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> There's only one signature on it, though, so Ooh. it's not like it was a team of men. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What are you talking about? Let's talk about another young driver who's already come up. Who? He started young. Who? This guy, your favorite. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> My, um, who? Actually, before before oh. that, you know one thing that that, that, that we forgot and that I, that I actually like to think. Um, a and when you're say, peeing, you thought of it, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I thought of all of our fans. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no, no showers. <laughs> Seriously, guys, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, if you, yeah, yeah, if, if 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 you're listening to this podcast and it's your first time, or uh, if you've been with us for a couple episodes, or if you've been here from the beginning and stopped listening and are back, um, and I don't blame you because we <laughs> suck there uh, for a little bit. You think a lot more. Working, some hey, stuff yeah. broke. Um, but hey, um, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. We got uh, we got new people that, that that have subscribed to our channel and are downloading our stuff on uh, iTunes and the website. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, yeah, we, like, we really appreciate it. Yeah, iTunes especially, that helps us out. iTunes and the YouTube subscriptions. Even uh, if you watch us on YouTube, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, uh, yeah. Or if numbers. you like something, hit a, you know, give us a like. If you think that you should, that, that we're completely wrong and are morons, please say so as yeah. well. Oh, you know? my God. Yeah, <laughs> we, we love, love criticism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Hey, keep it real. Now, I'll... Yeah. I'll uh, somebody I mentioned uh, Ryan Morgan before um, top, yeah. top guy uh, he's and him as well as uh, uh, Van Hellish Van Hellish uh, have been like you know keeping us honest here and there with the, with the facts and knowledge that they sent to us <laughs> yeah, um, sure. but um, a lot of them are well I mean Ryan Morgan for example um, he's he's a new F1 fan uh, mm. he's, he started watching um, NASCAR, NASCAR. A, and, and, and and moved to F1 and a lot of people have I, I've, I hear that, that there's been a big switch because a lot of people have been kind of angry at the regulation change in NASCAR uh, well, so no, they we, we, talk about, we, yeah. we <laughs> try to understand whatever they're crazy never mind double points yeah if you want to be confused look at the NASCAR <laughs> championship or don't don't even bother yeah don't even uh, but yeah but if, you, if you're a new F1 fan welcome uh, <laughs> yeah. as well uh, we hope that we're doing a pretty I'm good I'm a show. new F1 fan they, yeah, Mike's a new F1 Guys. fan in the States and BC as well. Thanks for the new F1 fans. Yeah, I think of uh, free broadcast for no, it's a bunch free. of the- it's not free. NBC? No, not free. Not all of it. Because well, because not- they, they split the coverage between NBC yeah, and NBC whatever. Sports. So that's what I mean. There's something yeah. you get yeah, yeah, there, there, for something. whatever races you get. Mm. You get the good ones. A lot Mon- of Monaco. What what I find though. Sorry, sorry. And yeah, but yeah, you do. You do get the the, the good ones. NBC. Not important. Um, what I do find is that new fans, uh, like you, for example, um, can tend to be confused when people talk about, or, or you know, or, or at least wonder why people hold Fernando Alonso in such high regard. Mm. Um, and you and you will be for, forgiven for um, <laughs> for thinking that because <laughs> especially this year, he's, yeah, oh, especially he's, this year, he's not doing so well. Yeah, but still, like the people. I mean, clearly the commentators like always refer to him as as one of the greats and mm-hmm. and, and and one of the guys like they they always talk about Alonso and and maybe like in the position that he's now, uh, like way down, uh, his cars are like his car, the car that he's racing is way down at the back. Um, he still gets a lot of praise and stuff, and and you be forgiven for thinking that or for wondering why. Mm-hmm. Um, but but and and here's where I want to go and 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 talk about. Uh, um, about my favorite driver, uh, mm-hmm. despite everything, there he is, and and, and there he is, and, oh, and this is this guy is just so adorable. This is the story, <laughs> oh, the story oh, of a boy named El Nano. 
that's that that's what that's what apparently like uh, I guess his, his, his friends call him or whatever. That's oh yeah. In, in El, Spain, El Nano. El Nano. Uh, what does that mean? It's just like like a shortening for Fernando. It means like okay. The, the Nando. The the Nano. Yeah. The the, the Fernando. <laughs> that's but amazing. The, the little Fernando, I guess. <laughs> um. Yes, El Nano. Here it is. Um. They say it without the D. Are you? Just, no. Yeah. The way without you the D. N A N O. El Nano. El Nano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So there he is. He and and even from there, you can tell he started very young. Mm-hmm. And 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 here's the thing. So yeah, I'm gonna right now take a History few read lesson. Take a few <laughs> of your minutes. <laughs> yes. And and talk about Fernando Alonso. Um, this picture uh, I believe was taken, and all these pictures actually, I just uh, most of them I think I took from his own website. So you know, for your you know, credit. To um, yeah, credit to that. Um, this was in 19. 19- 83 he's there he's three years old mm. three three years old whoa uh <laughs> what? yeah he's what this is a huge three-year-old he looks, he looks, <laughs> he's like he he was huge and then he just stopped growing maybe. he's like as an adult like he, obviously he's like a jockey or, or, or maybe not he might he might be a, a little bit older here but not much older uh yes. like this, this picture is like the, basically the first picture that they show um the particular about him is that for 83 kid, how old the years right? well, how old is he i think he, yeah, he's 30 something now right like alonso mm-hmm. is like in, in like in his 30s and uh, alonso, let me look it up he's like yeah. in his mid 30s i'd say mid 30s yeah 30. uh he is 33 yeah born 1981 obviously if he if so he's, what yeah he was two or three there yeah in july so he was two years old what in that picture no that wait well, I born eighty one July. Let's not dwell old, on exactly oldest, how big the oldest the <laughs> oldest he could be is two and a half. That, that's probably not December. It might not. It might not be this exactly eighty three. But in could, on in nineteen eighty three is when he started karting, when he got into a car. Okay, and like this is like crazy. the earliest picture of him that that I think that is public of like him in like his full race suit and whatnot. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the thing the thing that's especially remarkable and a lot of people say is that um, he comes from what has been described as middle of nowhere in terms of motorsport. Right. Um, Spain as a whole, even though uh, there there has been a, a Spanish Grand Prix um, in the calendar in one way or another from the beginning of of, of the history of F one, um, F one has hasn't been popular in spain for a very long time actually well throughout the history until recently and it's mm. only become popular in, in, in f1 because of him oh so, really yeah because of fernando alonso so before him so in this picture here there wasn't that much interest in in, in spain as a whole and to compound that he's from uh oviedo asturias which is in the in the north of spain it's a, it's a small principate um it's it's a it's as middle of nowhere, outside of like uh, the influence of motorsport, as you can think. But um, his father actually uh, was a pretty keen racing enthusiast, or mm-hmm. is still, I guess. He's, he's still alive. Um, was he a competitor? Or he just like watching it no, on TV. Yeah, he just wa- he's like he, he liked watching it. Just, like, I, watched, followed the Grand Prix. They weren't, from what I understand, his like his family wasn't uh, like super well off I mean but they weren't uncomfortable you know what I mean they were sort of uh, uh, the, 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 their, their middle class the Alonso's um, and his dad actually built um, a, a cart a small cart for his older sister though <laughs> he built a cart for his because uh, Alonso would have been too young um, but his sister didn't quite like it so mm. when you uh, say like the middle of nowhere do you mean like actually like out, they lived in no, a no, farm no, or no, just, no, it's, as, it's, just only as far as motorsports as far as motorsports like there's just no yeah. kind of racing yeah. around his town or yeah village. exactly because i was thinking of, like maybe just, she's well, driving I mean, it around the farm or something maybe if, if, if you if you even see like his sister most, racing most of the no no his sister didn't quite take that but yeah m- most of the racing sports that do happen in spain are all in the south and he's from oh, the yeah. north of Spain, right. um, and also like uh, what, Spain up until the point they didn't like F one. Spain historically has been a MotoGP country. They they're like crazy about their motorcycles. Yeah, we were um, looking at MotoGP about at uh, the China track earlier. Yeah. so many Spanish oh. Moto two, Moto three, yeah. and MotoGP. Yeah, um, a lot of Spanish dudes in that. 
But instead of that, he, he went for karting. And actually, he 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 jumped on his on, on that kart that his dad built for his sister, mm-hmm. uh, so young that he couldn't reach the pedal. So that yeah. he had to do yeah, they had to do something to 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 adapt it to his size. So maybe he was like two and a half in this picture. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe he looks pretty young to me. But I don't know. I guess I, I in, my, in my head I can't really tell like how old he is. Two and three quarters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, like a, the the picture is called 1983.jpg. That there you go. Yeah, that, that's that was what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. That's it, that's why I was arguing his age, right? It could it could be towards the end of 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 the 1980. Either way, Who knows? whatever. It's, it's it doesn't matter if he's two or three. That's it's, it's incredible. Yeah, <laughs> I, be, I believe he started at two. He's yeah, the, he's the Fernando Alonso. Now, what what was mostly just a hobby of his dad and 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 I guess him. Um, started to turn really serious when he very quickly like two years later Mm -hmm. started to outgrow everybody in his age group and even above in terms of skill right uh it was was just demolishing kids yeah he was he was it was no like (laughs) his dad first and but then other people came and said like yo no you're not crazy like your kid is actually like really fucking good at this yeah um so the alonso's decided to take his career a little bit for, uh, further, and especially like his dad says, well, his dad was pumped, obviously. Yeah, he's like, uh, oh, yeah. Suck. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Um, so forward uh, that to five years later, <laughs> he won his first race, and that's the next picture here. Oh, sick. Uh, yeah, that's him winning uh, or right around when he won his first race. Um, and in, what is this like go kart sort of? Yeah, yeah go karts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he started in go karts, and that's like it, it's big in Europe. And it's just, you know, there's go karts everywhere, but the, like the championships there are big. But still, this was like this was a story. This was Spain. Spain as a whole like didn't have neither the infrastructure right. nor like the, the passion. This would have been like this is a very select group of people mm-hmm. that even like took part of this. Um, and uh, but then he he went that same year, the same year that he won his first title. Uh, sorry, his first uh, race. He went on to win that championship, the children's championship, in 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 his category. Jesus. Yeah. So, uh, and and this guy's just beating the shit out of all these little kids. Yeah. And <laughs> and started when he was two and a half years old. Yeah. <laughs> and and um. obviously, like this is all the, that they were doing uh, weekends here and there, and he just kept getting better and better. Uh, switch to the next picture. Uh, so from '88 um, to the end of the '80s. And uh, the beginning of the 90s, it, it was just a couple of years where he kept accumulating like a victory here, a victory there, mm-hmm. just learning. You could see that he was uh, progressing um, along the ranks. Um, those were just in the lowest carding categories, though. Mm-hmm. Um, and at one point, uh, he, him and his family pretty much had to have uh, a pretty tough conversation because if they wanted to keep pushing his career forward... They they were gonna have to make some sacrifices. Right. They couldn't really right. afford it. Um, and his like, even though his mom and his dad pitched in as much as it, as, as they as, could, as they could, it was they they tried to get him sponsorship, but the local people in Asturias they were, they were just like you know, are you selling cows? No, we're not interested. What do you mean? Uh, so, <laughs> um, so it, it was it was also up to him. To start winning and start winning in a, such a big manner that he would be noticed by somebody out there, somewhere there they were, that would that would sponsor him or or right. get him in touch with a serious sponsor uh, that would uh, stand behind his career. Definitely but, paid off now. Oh, oh, for sure. <laughs> no. uh, oh yeah. But look sure. at him. I think I think he's the one there on the left. He's a short dude. This guy. Yeah. Um, yeah that's what, so when he was two years old, he was like <laughs> three quarters that height. Just, <laughs> he's, he just sat in the go kart and he's like, "No, I'm not getting any bigger." Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty tall. Pretty tough call on a kid, though. I mean, yeah. because you know, if if he wanted to to follow his passion, and people were telling him that it, that he's good, yeah. uh, he had to make a decision whether I, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this seriously and I'm going to have to start winning and winning consistently mm-hmm. or otherwise like I'm wasting like everybody's time, my parents' uh, money, everybody's money and my whole life pretty mm-hmm. much. Um, so he did it. He delivered. He kept uh, uh, he kept winning. He came to the second of uh, the nation uh, nationwide championship in cards in, in his category. Um, and he even did, like looked at the next picture, 1991. Uh, yeah, there he is. Um, again, like just traveling, like during that time he had to travel so much that his his dad would basically 
pack his uh, and his, his his dad would go with him everywhere mm-hmm. uh, because he, his dad was also his mechanic, so they wouldn't ah, have to pay a mechanic. Oh, great! Right, like so they they, <laughs> yeah. they like volunteer that much, um, and he he got I guess like talked to the people at the school to only let him be at school from Tuesday to Thursdays because on most weekends he was like. Okay, finish yeah, and his dad's work too. Like finish, yeah. finish work, wrap everything up. There's the drive, like, like, drive, yeah, yeah drive like eighteen or twenty hours. Away. Oh, no, to to all other countries because at that point he was getting like into like the it's regional all around Europe. Yeah, around Europe. Yeah, they yeah, arrive, drive eighteen hours, get there, set up, have everything ready for Friday, then do the whole weekend, then come back uh, for Tuesday class. Like it was a hectic, hectic oh time. <laughs> and the, the mom, crazy. because she was working so much, she like never got to see her son because the only time that she had to do that was in the weekends. But he was out. It was yeah, it, it was crazy. But but he's got, like a really smart guy as well. Like you know, he speaks three languages as well. Four languages. Least. Three, uh, there's a yeah. three at least what is this German or something or uh, no uh, French, French and Italian on top of oh. uh, Spanish and English but look at him there and the next picture uh, there he is um, he had to but he did so well uh, and, and started get, uh, to get such a good name that over here he is and you can see how like the, the, the other two kids uh, around him are a little taller and whatever mm-hmm. that's because he got yeah, a, he's there older than him he's, he got a special dispensation dispensation to compete in this category uh, below the minimum age <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god yeah Whoa. Uh, yeah like, and, and he won it like, like look at him here both yeah, of those two kids the one of them's about to the guy on the right's about to look at him like god damn it and the other guy <laughs> can't even look up and like, his dad's probably pissed Black. off <laughs> Somebody's Shit. pissed at him. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Someone's gonna get beat with a belt like, that evening. <laughs> all, looks like all three of them have sponsors He's by like, this point. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, like the three of them have sponsors, but already like even at this age. Yeah. They have to. You can man, see, yeah, to. You can, even the the events got the big yeah. big sponsorships. It's it's either it's either their their parents' company sponsors them or somebody else sponsors them. You know what right. I mean? Like, but yeah, at this point, like he, he is at the point right now where the like like I said, even though he did get some sponsorship, um, the Alonsos were doing as much as they could. Um, so probably at this level, you're probably traveling like with a truck already. Like, yeah, like, like, the, like yeah, a like, big trailer and a yeah. b- bunch of tools and equipment. Right, yeah. Cause his dad was even in go kart. His dad was his mechanic, so he had to bring all the tools and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like extra wheels that's and shit. Big, that's a big fucking deal. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, and and all across, like all around Europe. Well, not not necessarily all around Europe, but at least like uh, in, in the Mediterranean and shit like that. Um, so he's going around, like, yeah, and and, and they're they're traveling. Uh, they're, they're doing this. It's very grueling, but this is also an important time because um, to to kind of help out. Um, as well, at age 14, he decided, you know what, I'm going to roll up my sleeves too. And what he started doing is he like basically started going around to the kids that were seven and eight mm-hmm. and started like coaching them. And like, just even like, even down to like the mechanics oh of the car. God. Cause he was like, yeah, he said that like he, 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 he was like, oh, I was, I, I've always been kind of interested in the mechanics of, of, of the car too. And like that part of mm-hmm. racing. Uh, so he, I guess, just got really into it as well. And then started like coaching kids enough to make, um, 100,000 pesetas in uh, back in the old Sp- Spanish money, which would have translated to about 600 euro. So about a thousand bucks. Like mm-hmm. per lesson? Uh, no, no, no. Like it's like over the over the year, oh. and like that, you know, that's that that was for a fourteen year old. That was kid, yeah. That was yeah. Like shit, I got money. <laughs> well, and, but he getting just put it all. Kids, get, getting these little kids allowances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ex- extra racing. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, that's that that was enough to like contribute to his racing program. It's interesting. Uh, uh, comparing to what we talked about last week, specifically, well, we just used uh, McLaren, um, Mercedes as an example, but whereas uh, <clears throat> Hamilton was more of or is more of a, like natural type driver started right. as a kid, whereas Rosberg is the other way, more of a mechanical minded. And mm. you'll see him like in clips and in photos, like he's got a, a notebook and he's going over his or he's in his laptop or whatever, looking over his laps and stuff like that. It seems like Alonso's got a bit of both. Both, yeah, he's, yeah. he's in the middle. And that, and he started that- as a kid. Picked it up, loved it, and then started coaching as a teenager already. And that's what that's, that's what crazy. people that's that's what the commentators like say about him is that he he's they refer to him as the most well rounded driver, but it's because he's both he's 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 got the technical side mm. as well as the natural talent. Um, Even his style too. He's like pretty, he's like a really smooth guy, but then he gets aggressive when he when he's gonna fight somebody. Yeah, it's it, it's he's he's rarely rarely cut, like caused accidents. 
No, he's, he's, dangerous he's, he's the mo- I think he, he's the most aware driver. Like he knows, like even yeah. just that it, it, he had an uh, an interview because a lot of people said that he his starts were spectacular and whatnot. Because he uh, back when he, for the Ferrari when he was running a Ferrari that was somewhat competitive, mm. um, like he'd start from like fifth in a race and before the first two corners he would be like up to third or fourth or, or or second because of his crazy starts right. and and one time he described it on TV like with a uh, with the skypad or with Martin Brundle like Martin Brundle was like okay like here like you did this like wh- what what do you think and he was like okay no here's 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 what i think like he's like i know this guy is probably going to end up going in that direction i know he's over here i know i'm like he, he was aware of everybody Everyone. everybody yeah. around him and like he a, knew exactly what everybody was going to do <laughs> imagining like a 3d hologram sure. of <laughs> yeah no guys totally around, guys around him yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's it, it, it's pretty intense, dude. Anyway, let's move on to. Um, you're, you're making me into Alonzo fan right now, man. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, in 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 the remaining, so he 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 kept winning. He kept obviously making a name for himself. Um, at this point, I think we we're like so we're in the middle, um, starting the the middle of the of, of the nineties, uh, right? Um, 94, 95 yeah. right now? Yeah, 94, 95. Uh, again, just he, he kept a slow progression uh, uh, in that rhythm. But here, uh, here's where it gets uh, really good in the next picture. You can see there. So it's starting 95 uh, or 96 um, is when he started to rock that number 14. Mm. Uh. The, the number 14 is when he, wait, is, is, a, is a number that he picked as his career number in F1 now. Oh, okay. Because uh, he said like that it meant a lot to him. But here's when things got really, really serious. So again, we're talking I about... I was going to say that like, car, oh, look, car looks a bit more serious than the previous one. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Like, that's a, that's a pretty a big body engine. engine. He's got a yeah. fucking tinted windshield yeah. and even, helmet thing. Even his, his helmet colors are still somewhat similar from this point. And these two, uh, like these he's, white arrows... He's he, got like he, the turquoise. He has that, the, the, those white arrows there. He's always had those there. Uh, I guess like from back from these days. And they were really his, his formative years. Um, in a lot of uh, um, of, of getting his racecraft down, uh, down, and and it all all that he'd gone up until now really paid off. That mm. year, um, he won not only the Spanish championship but the Italian championship, and he won also um, the European Formula. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, he won. I, well, he won a, a European wide race, mm-hmm. uh, a, a wide circuit. It. it, it he, and as well as many others, man. It was so. So he. he so this guy's started, getting crazy. Yeah, now. He, he's starting to get crazy. Uh, <laughs> but again, there's another wall. Like at this point, so he is. He is now in the top um, categories of of of, um, of carding. Mm-hmm. Again, like doing uh, like you know getting getting all kinds of youngest awards. Like the youngest guy that like the, the youngest competitor that won the uh, the the Italian uh, the series. The, the youngest like Spanish, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. It was bound to happen that he was going to get noticed um, it, for, by a, by a serious single seater, right? Um, and at the end of this, I do think you think that was like his goal? Was his goal to get to F one? Yeah. yeah, by yeah. Is, that, is that sure. obvious? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure every, how that's. Every, I think I think that all the kids that get into this, they would they have F one as like the ultimate thing. Okay. Yeah. It is sort of the pinnacle of yeah. racing, and th- and that is what they call it that, right? Because right. if 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 you're if you're a race car driver, or like if you start very young like this. You, what you're aiming for is F1. If yeah. you end up later in your career doing like American Indie or like DTM or like the, the British touring car, you know, you can probably make a, a decent living out of doing that. But yeah. that's not your dream. Your dream right. is F1. Right. And and that's what you're like, if you can actually achieve it, if it's within reach, you're going to go for that. Right. right. Yeah. So all the people like in the, the Daytona 500 sort of thing, they're all like, oh. I just want to I just want to drive <laughs> uh, F1 cars. Americans are a bit different about that. I don't think they all feel that way, but I think the rest of the world does yeah <laughs> <laughs> everyone else does we watched that uh, seat swap didn't we with Juan, Juan Pablo Montoya where they swip, switch between we, or maybe we didn't I don't know there, I don't there, think so this doesn't sound familiar there's a video of, there, there's there's two two of them or three that happened but this one was from uh, I don't know like late 90s so they, they take a F1 car at the Indianapolis track mm-hmm. they sort of have a street track and he drives um, a NASCAR and who was it? Uh, Jeff Gordon, NASCAR driver, drives the F1 car. Mm-hmm. 
And oh, Montoya, yeah. Montoya competed in NASCAR, I think, didn't he? Yeah, he did for a little bit. Later, yeah, after so that, he, he, after that happened. So yeah, I guess that's why they chose him. And then, oh yeah, maybe it, maybe he took to it. I guess mm-hmm. I think this is pretty cool. But uh, Jeff Gordon, when he got out of the F1 car, he's like, he's like, man, do I have to get out? Like that was incredible. <laughs> and, like just super grand. It's like yeah. the most incredible thing that he ever drove. And, oh, wow. and, he's, and, and he's he didn't like, even have to like change the gears because the, they said the, the the gearbox to automatic, and he all he was doing is like. You know, driving. Yeah, they they, they set his down or no, they set his upshifts on automatic, oh, so right, he yeah. wouldn't blow the engine, but he had to still downshift it. Oh my but, god! But uh, as as far as I know, he's a champion. I don't know enough about NASCAR, but yeah, yeah. He, they chose him for it, so he must be Ryan? a champion NASCAR <laughs> driver too, right? Yeah, and he, 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 that was he, probably he, he, he was, like, he was like, "This is crazy." Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> that was probably <laughs> his goal they, growing up. He's hooked. <laughs> <but, laughs> <laughs> probably didn't that one. Yeah, I probably didn't sleep the n- that night or the night before. <laughs> Honey, listen, I need a divorce. I'm getting to F1. <laughs> One way or another. I wonder what the other NASCAR drivers thought about him for years after, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, probably. man. Jeff, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. You won't, you won't, you won't get me into one of those F one things, even dead or something. I don't know, know if we can talk even more, Gordon. <laughs> um. Oh, it's I. I found it. It's a, turned the, right. He's a writer. <laughs> he turned right. <laughs> Quit with your turning left nonsense. Um. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't. So I. I thought it was a European wide championship. No, he actually won. Um, in, in the late 90s, he won the world junior title, like for, of karting. Oh, like, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, so he got noticed, obviously, because yeah, yeah. Was, or something like that. <laughs> and in 1991, he was giving his first real shot at a proper single seater. Um, in uh, 1990, he won a national uh, championship? 1999. Oh, no, in, in, at some point in between 90, 95 and 99, he won the oh, world okay, title. Okay, okay. Uh, it's still very young. Yeah. In yeah, ninety nine, that's a long time ago now. Well, in ninety nine was when they put him in in like a proper um, uh, single seater, like the the the, the kind that. That's uh, the next one. Um, yeah, there you're the ninety nine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the, the, this that's is just him celebrating. This is his single single seat championship or go kart. No, 99? this is the ninety nine. So he was in a single seat. Now I'm not I'm not sure if that's yeah. at the the championship cup or just one race win. I hope not. That's not a huge cup. Yeah, <laughs> I think that, that that was probably just a race win. But this is him competing in actual real single series, like like we showed with Lance Stroll. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Something along those lines. Yeah, something along those lines. It was the mm. European Formula Nissan um, Championship. Okay. Um, and those are like sort of up there with uh, with like Renault three point five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and in that same year, uh, he like he put some ridiculous performances um the, the the guy that spotted him was mm-hmm. an ex formula one driver and he he brought him the like, case he was like yo this kid has future and that same year his first year in a proper single seater with like proper wings and whatever mm-hmm. um he he did a few a few drives that had everybody like with their lower jaw on the floor um mm. Advancing from basically the back of the grid all the way to taking the lead, um, he granted he did make uh, and an, 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 uh, during this time apparently they had they had radio transmission and um, he did make a few mistakes once he was in the lead, uh, but some say that he here is where he learned basically how to get up there and stay up there ah, like okay. like stay focused gotcha. and stay concentrated um and and he even told like that guy that brought him into uh uh into the single seater series he, he he was like you know what like i made a mistake today but i'll get him next race and he did like he then mm-hmm. he won the next race and he he actually on that same year he went on he closed the championship with nine pole positions and six victories <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, yeah <laughs> yeah so it, 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 it he did he he won that championship, so obviously, at that point, like so, like somebody had to notice him. Yeah. So, yeah, were it, people like this guy's? Yeah, going they, up they, there. He's serious. For so sure. the next year, uh, two thousand, he was given his his first proper go at a Formula One car. Um, <laughs> Ferrari was and 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 but this is it. This is so so far. I think it has been rosy colored, but here is to me where where where. The story starts to take a turn for the maybe shaking. His eyes look like they might be a little rosy colored in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking, Alonzo. <laughs> Have a little joint <laughs> to stay cool. Um, Ferrari was maybe in the talks with him uh, about having him as a test driver at some point in the future, maybe, you know, whatever. Um, 
but he's he somehow didn't continue with those talks and uh, got lured into into signing for Renault mm-hmm. um, uh, with Flavio Briatore. Now Flavio Briatore, uh, I've talked about him before. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe I'll get to him later. But he's a very controversial figure in F one. He basically got kicked out of F one. Uh, for some bullshit uh, that he pulled off, um, but yeah, he was he's a he's a bit of a crazy guy, but he he somehow convinced Alonso that he had a better shot at uh, si- or at least at driving at a racer, yeah, I become a racer quicker if he signed with with Renault. He, he basically, I mean, he must have told him, listen, you know that 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 thing about Ferrari, maybe they say that to everybody or something. Like, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know if that's gonna be serious. They haven't put anything down in writing. Uh, I'll, I'm willing to like sign you for an F1 team. Right now, you know you're gonna be there. Maybe not this year. Maybe not next year. But we'll get you there. Mm-hmm. Um, so he did. He went ahead and and, and signed with Fabio Fal- Fal- Briatore, um, and uh, that year uh, they made a deal, and he loaned them. Uh, Briatore loaned for uh, Alonso to Team Minardi. Mm-hmm. Now Team Minardi is what today is a Toro Rosso, but Toro Rosso is kind of a competitive team today because of of Red Bull money. But back then, right. Minardi were like. Back of the grid, like yeah. the, the full back markers, and, and the next picture I think is when uh, in two thousand and one, um, where he made his actual race debut um, with Minardi. Um, in a, I think that's him in Australia. So Australia two thousand and one, that's his first proper F one race, mm-hmm. um, and he went to do some pretty pretty good performances that year with a car that was. Very uncompetitive. Um, he had a best podium pos- or a best position of tenth. So that's equivalent to uh, that thing that uh, the Bianchi did. You know how like Bianchi were if Bianchi finished tenth and in the points. So it was yeah. it, it was that it was big enough. Like that they say, you know what? Like this, even though you only like finished tenth because the car is so shit, the car has no for reason an- to be there. For anyone that doesn't know, Bianchi was driving the Marussia. Well, yeah, they're the worst team yeah. that, that ever existed. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're the worst team on the grid. And yeah, he managed the points. Yeah. Is that kind of performance? That, yeah, that kind of performance. Bianchi did it last year, though. It, and it was in Germany, too. I, I'm not sure whether Nürburgring or uh, Hungaroring, or sorry, or uh, Hockenheim, but. Alonso? Yeah, that, that was when he got his 10th. So it's still, like, both, like, back in the day, those, those two were would have been, like, pretty technical tracks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, he, and he got the job done there. So. In 2002, um, they they said like Renault said, okay, <laughs> you're you're pretty serious. Like we'll we'll put you in the roster of our team. That's what that's what the Renault uniform used to look back then. Um, they they had like that mile seven sponsorship, so they were baby blue. Is it cigarette company? So, yeah, cigarette. Um, Maybe this is where his, his turquoise came. Well, no, his turquoise is comes from um, from Asturias. The flag of Asturias is. Is turquoise and oh, and yellow, but conveniently this team's colors were also like the kind of the same turquoise and yellow. Yeah, <laughs> he looks uh, different without a beard. He looks yeah. He's this like, is, I, I, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but this was only as a test driver because at this point uh, Jensen was um, uh, he was driving for uh, for Renault, but it was a known thing that he was probably gonna go to uh, BAR honda next yeah. year so they were kind of like so we'll keep you here we'll throw you in a few private practices um just to give you like you know just to hone you in and then next year for sure um a race seat and that did happen so next year in 2003 um he he made his debut for renault um that same year is with a with a car that's competitive yeah i know what, yeah. i was gonna say was i don't know the was he in the same team as reikonen that time or was that after reikonen after no, no, I don't. Him and Reckoning never really coincided. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but he was he he was technically with Button the year before, but only as, was only as a test. As driver. a test driver, right? Yeah, this the, the year where he was actually a full um, uh, Renault driver. Race Renault driver. was like a a pretty good team, not not like not necessarily up there all the time, but a, a competitive. They had a competitive car. So when once they gave him a competitive car, he went uh, in the two thousand and uh, uh, sorry. Uh, this is 2003, yeah. Um, he went on uh, to get his first uh, pole position in Malaysia and also his first win in a race in Hungary. The first year that, the, the, the first year that he was given um, a, a competitive car. And at that point, it was, uh, he also became the youngest um, race winner. 
And, and that hadn't Crazy. happened. Yeah, that hadn't happened since somewhere in the 70s uh, with uh, Emerson Fittipaldi. Right. So he had like, his <laughs> career up to this point was a lot of like, a lot of firsts and youngest right, uh, right. Uh, things. Um, and, and that, I think, messed with him a little later. But, but so far, so he's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's got a, he, so he, he knows he, he, he's not in a good team. He's, right. he's building his racecraft like now. Um, 2004, you can go to it. Uh, he just continued to uh, give really, really good performances. Uh, but however, this year was uh, the year that uh, Ferrari had the F2004, uh, um, recognized by many to be like the fastest, the fastest Formula F- One F- car F- yeah. ever made, even to this day. Really? Anyway, you know, so Ferrari were like... It, uh, uh, a first place in the championship wasn't going to be possible just because of how dominant Ferrari were. Right. But um, he he didn't win, but he managed to get more points this whole year than in his previous years. In the, and even though in his previous year he had a win, this year he didn't have a win, but he, um, he amassed the most points. It's, he was up there fighting like he was best of the rest pretty much uh, as, as far as they were concerned so yeah the, the Ferrari were out of touch well, were out of reach but Fernando kept kept raking in the points and he's also known for that now mm-hmm. for being being the guy that even if he's not going to win he's going to get the maximum points right. uh, as much as he can um, hey, some, he did very well last year with the the sub the subpar Ferrari yeah Exactly. And he has. Re- he's, Reckoning couldn't get anything out of it. He keeps he keeps doing that. Just you give him, and, and he is a bit known for that too. Like you give him a shit car, and he will get every last bit of performance out of it. Like wow, just, yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, and so anyway, he, he didn't win in two thousand and four, but then two thousand and five, um, due to a number of things. Um, uh, so uh, Michael Schumacher was still in Ferrari, but uh, Ferrari started to get into reliability problems and, and there was some rule change in the middle. Anyway, and that coupled with Fernando Alonso's actual true skill as a driver increasing mm-hmm. granted him his first championship. Uh, so 2005 nice. was a golden year uh, for him um, and and 2006 too. Like he, the... the the momentum, oh, you can see him nervous. starting to experiment with, uh, uh, Hair with hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that in the last one too, he's all wet. He's starting, yeah. starting to look like Alonso. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even though this trophy, was like though. still about 10 years ago, yeah. um, the, the, the victories were, and, and especially mm. this year as well, the, the 2006, he managed to fend off a growing challenge from Ferrari. And this was the year that Michael Schumacher uh, had announced a seven time world championship, yeah. big ego, lot to prove. He had announced that he was going to retire at the end of this year and he wanted to retire with a win. Sure. Obviously. And, and Alonso stamped. All, all over that. that. All <laughs> <laughs> goosh, goosh, goosh. And, it, and it went, this championship fight between him and Schumacher yeah. went down to the last race this year. Like it was, yeah, it was, it was, an, it was a heavy one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, it was heavy, but he he definitely deserved it. Mm-hmm. At this point, though, uh, sorry, before this year, um, in 2005, no, no need to go back. Um, he had already announced though that his his champion uh, his contract at Renault ended in 2006 at the end of 2006 right so him and again <laughs> uh this is another thing that people have gotten to know alonso for uh is his uh his his bad management calls ah. um <laughs> chasing the money and this is one of the things that a oh, lot of people dragon well, chasing <laughs> the dragon <laughs> a lot of people say that like an f1 is not necessarily like advantageous at one point or another like to like leave like a team or like to like like move to another team just to like just to get a higher paycheck Mm -hmm. but yeah like him chasing zeros in his pocket is it zeros in his paycheck um he went off in 2007 and signed with mclaren and and here he is uh (laughs) every year he looks like a different (laughs) fucking person He looks like a little pale there. Yeah. yeah. A little evil. Well, he moved, he, yes. he moved to England. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, sure he lost a bit of his cowlick. soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, for all the money. Well, that's, yeah. The, you know, for sunken cash. in cheeks and the Vodafone money. No. <laughs> Santander. Vodafone. Is this where Santander started following him? Yeah. 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 Well, Santander has had been involved in his early career as well, but... Uh, um, his big sponsor before was Movistar, the the Spanish telephone company. But then, yeah, for here from here on, 
uh, Santander became like his, his big big guys uh, chasing his yeah a lot of big sponsors here. well after this he's got to, Nestle Johnny Walker Vodafone Mercedes Benz Tuch SAP's Vodafone, big Vodafone um, SAP but it was huge it was he was he had been he had won two championships in a row at that point okay in 2005 he was the youngest championship winner mm-hmm. in F1 he became and then in, in 2006 oh, sorry in 2005 youngest championship winner and 2006 he became the youngest championship to like or the, the youngest like two time back to back world champion uh so again he was breaking records uh F1 audiences in Spain obviously picked up. Mm -hmm. People, record attendances in the races. Right now, Spain as a whole, like even if you look up uh, uh, on Google Trends, like where uh, Formula One searches are coming from in the world, Mm -hmm. uh, Spain is always like like pretty like dark, uh, darked out because... uh, they are like they, there's huge F1 interest, and it's all due to Alonso. So now, now they have a few more drivers, and I'm sure this will, this is gonna continue because they have like a couple of like new guys joining in the sport mm-hmm. here and there. Um, but that was all started by him, anyway. So, so yeah, he, huge guy, and 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 he got a big contract with. Uh, I just McLaren. like this. I just like to say I was not paid to list Alonso sponsors just now. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo Boss, Mobile One, Ego, and Mutual Mobile. Just, Johnny Walker. Just to be Come fair, no, I, I mentioned them. <laughs> and Bridge, Bridgestone, Bridgestone on both shoulders. Jesus. Oh, those was his, his tires, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he I, I forgot uh, the the exact number, but it was it was big money. Mm. The problem with that is that now it's ne- now it's two thousand and seven. Different story from two thousand and eight, all from, from two thousand and six altogether. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's in a new team. He's getting used to to to, to certain nuances of of going from working with a guy like Flavio Briatore that was like you know this crazy Italian guy that loved to party and this and that yeah. and like the hookers and whatever sure uh, <laughs> how could you not yeah <laughs> you're to, an F1 driver to well no he's an F1 manager our manager yeah um, to working for Ron Dennis <laughs> and this was the year too that as 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 his teammate they introduced Lewis Hamilton so Ooh. Lewis Hamilton enter Lewis Hamilton enter stage Lewis. right and with with him side by side in the same team um so 2007 started okay I guess uh with with the McLaren so the the, the bigger teams that had pace that, like, that right, year. Mike Mike doesn't know where it's this is going yet no I don't I'm, I'm like oh yeah what else <laughs> what cool. happens next <laughs> <laughs> it, it started pretty good, yeah. I guess at the very beginning. Um, the McLaren were clearly competitive last year. They had they had showed it. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen last year before this uh, had been driving for McLaren. Some of his best performances of Kimi Raikkonen that people still talk about were from mm-hmm. the year previous to this. Previous to this, but then Kimi moved on to Ferrari, um, and um, Alonso took his seat. Mm. And and uh, instead of I forgot whoever uh, um, Raikkonen's teammate was uh, at, at McLaren so, came Lewis Lewis a, a a part of the McLaren Driver Academy uh, I don't know if it's called that but same idea yeah, yeah. um they had been grooming Lewis from an early age as as the next British hit right um and in comes this rookie out of nowhere that starts challenging him for wins out like challenging him for polls all hell breaks loose like internally In- internally and, right. and but yeah so they, they both have very very competitive cars one of those yeah. teammate rivalries right, right. Like, oh really perfect yeah oh, they both great they both origin story <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two great drivers yeah. in, in the same in, car and a good car and he sees in lewis uh, a, a a real a no nonsense like because at this point you gotta think that Alonso must be thinking even though he's he's not outwardly like super cocky and whatever yeah he he, he he's now a, he's now a millionaire mm-hmm. um youngest this youngest that child prodigy this you know getting special dispensation to raise early um and in comes Hamilton who is a rookie to F one and is challenging him him of all people. 
on the same car. Oh my god! So he can't he can't say it's it, it was because it, 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 there's another car in the same yeah, car. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's so competitive. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> you, oh my you run god. Out of, you run out of Let's excuses. This just gets so much juicier as it goes on. It start it started getting it started getting ridiculous yeah. with with them just playing the psychological game on each other. Uh, oh, Hamilton no. like trying to like you know fan and say like you know I'm actually like a pretty good and dra- Hamilton is a very naturally skilled driver. Right. Um, Alonso couldn't take it at this point and, and th- from this point is when he gets he gets his reputation that he doesn't like he doesn't like to be challenged by his teammates and he and and he, it has been like that pretty much for from for all of his career right yeah. from this point is that if a teammate is is getting more attention or something he he kind of loses it mm-hmm. i was i was going to say like this i kind of I, I heard you say it but it didn't click before but i just realized this is from all these pictures are from FernandoAlonso.com. Yeah, yeah, they, they all are. When you look on his Twitter and Instagram and stuff, it's all like selfies, <laughs> like he's on an exercise bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I'm surfing. He puts down like whatever he's eating for breakfast. Yeah, he's got like, <laughs> he's, he's, like just got to ch- shave my sweet beard. Whatever. All, he's, he's big on selfies. <laughs> and his, own, his whole career on his own website. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, so some say that McLaren... Uh, it, or the, one of the McLaren drivers didn't win this year. Mm-hmm. Even Be- LewisHamilton.com probably doesn't have this many pictures of himself. Could. I, I haven't checked <laughs> it. He, he, he does have that professional <laughs> photographer following him around. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, yeah, the, the, two, the two McLaren boys actually <laughs> finished this year tied for points. Wow. They finished 2007 tied for points. Only one point behind... Kimi Raikkonen, who won the championship that year. Oh my god! And a lot of the time, like some people say, <laughs> that Kimi both- Raikkonen, the, the, maybe the, the car was at the same level as uh, as the McLarens, but he had some reliability issues here and there. But the inter-team rivalry and inter-team fight in McLaren is what allowed him to like sweep by oh, and like take the championship at the, at the end. That tackled with one of the biggest scandals that F1 has seen in the modern era was uh, the Spygate scandal. That year was the same year that yeah. a lot of people got like in big trouble in F1 because it came out that um, people from McLaren had stolen confidential information, technical information from Ferrari. Oh. So this is... And, yeah. oh, I love this. <laughs> this is great. Oh, spy shit the, going on. Oh, yeah, man. Reckon it had 110 points and the two of them, Alonso and Hamilton, had... 109 each. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that's fucking tragic. Yeah. That's so Hollywood esque. Oh, no, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is some good. crazy shit happened. That, that was uh, Hamilton's debut. <laughs> yeah. That's no, no. His first year, too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was his first year. Like, he was strongly challenging Alonso. So, Alonso, you see, was like, yeah. his Jimmies were effectively rustled. <laughs> <laughs> cha cha cha. <laughs> and. Hey, he's, he's, I could just picture him on the radio. He's rustling my chimneys. <laughs> he's going around the corner. Like Alonso. Uh, for so real, no. Bad, Sparks bad, flew. Horrible and Spanish accent. Also, some people say uh, that Alonso, and actually, no, it, 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 it's just from interviews and stuff. Um, Alonso was a key figure in bringing a lot of that scandal out into the public. Mm-hmm. Like he was, he, he clearly wasn't happy uh, at McLaren. Mm-hmm. Um, and when, when, the, when this scandal... Soiling his good name. <laughs> yeah, and well, and, and, and when, when this whole, sc- well, when his, his whole scandal started to happen and, and McLaren started getting accused of stealing confidential Ferrari information, mm-hmm. like he was out there like accusing them as well. He's like, yeah, like, yeah. It's, yeah <laughs> like, that's, why, it. that's why he looks so evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let's soul selling Pro- promptly and and this also just just that attitude where he like he he had it with Lewis uh, for challenging him how dare he right uh, he had it with uh, with McLaren with this shit and he 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 was looking for a way out so badly that he would he would. St- that's when also he started to talk shit about the team that he was on, <laughs> and he, he's, he, he's he's doing that to this day. Anyway, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, he everyone talks shit ob- in the well, sport. Obviously, he wasn't gonna last at McLaren. All right. So for two thousand and eight, um, he had options, uh, and 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 then again, yet again, another of what some may say a management misstep uh, by him or his managers is that 
he had oncoming uh, he, he was still very clearly a great driver and everybody knew that with a great promising career ahead of him um so the red bull team mm -hmm. that was on the up and up uh, at those points like have, hadn't won a championship yet but looked very promising mm -hmm. uh, and indeed they went on later to win four four world championships in a row um was chasing him so was toyota Mm. Uh, so we're a couple of big players, but he decided to take the emotional decision, I'd say, to go back to Renault, the team that he had just left to go to McLaren right. with, with Flavio Briatore. He went back to Renault for, and he signed a two-year contract because he knew, and some may say that maybe uh, for, for helping sort of the Ferrari name during this whole spy gate, he sort of knew that, okay... The Ferrari, the Ferrari contracts were kind of on lockdown uh, for another couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, Flavio Briatore, being Italian, maybe said like, "You know what? Come back to come back to Renault. We may not have a competitive car, but like you'll still be there, accumulating points. But then you'll know that as soon as we're done here, you're gonna have a free pass to Ferrari." Uh, <laughs> so, but and and here's the thing, though. It, it, and, and we go back to 2008 and 2009. Okay, if, yeah, you can skip right to those. For, for anyone that wants to read more about that, you can look up the 2007 Formula One espionage scandal. Oh, yeah, the in Spygate? In, in that, that, that's a whole history. Oh, they called it Spygate? Uh, yeah, Spygate. <laughs> no, man, no, this was some crazy shit, man. Yeah. And I, they, Do they have ninjas, like, coming down the well, roofs and shit? He, he, it, it, the, the people involved, or, or some of the main people, were like it, this one guy from McLaren yeah. um, and his wife, actually. I think he, he got... Oh, he got I his think, wife to be all fucking... Yeah, he, he, honeypot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's <laughs> what it... Honeypot. honeypot I don't man. know if that's what it was. Yeah, I'm not sure what honeypot means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's when you have like a good like, a, like an attractive like spy uh, like glue okay. like, man uh, or woman uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you, you send them in like you, you, you know like your target yeah you know you you follow him around see what bars and restaurants he goes to yeah and then you send in your know, honey pot man your or honey woman pot. your honey pot yeah, yeah. <laughs> just seduce them <laughs> bang them whatever, you know whatever get your yeah. have a few drinks yeah. <laughs> and then when they pass out you steal all their stuff and run away. <laughs> that's fucking great. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's what happened. I don't think that this is what happened. But I know his, his wife was... That's what a honeypot is anyway. <laughs> yeah. His wife was, was involved. And I think that... Uh, I, I don't... I'm sure like... You know, official CIA. I, I invite you all on the internet to correct me if I'm wrong. But um, somebody fucked up. And they these these highly confidential Ferrari documents... Um, they they photocopied them at like a local copy shop, right? I was gonna say even in yeah. in two, like we don't realize how fast this technology is going. In two thousand eight, that would have been stacks of paper still, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no like thirty two gig USB cards or whatever. Like, yeah, like, like these memory sticks. There was piles of piles of paper that they were photocopying, yeah, and I, <laughs> or stealing outright. And I guess like um the in in the copying process process. Um, the, 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 all the, the papers, the, well, all no. the papers got all staticky, and then well, no, no, these the, stuck the, together. The, the copy machine like broke or something, or like there were a few like copies that remained in the copy shop, like that somebody like tossed in the garbage, no. I guess, um, mm. of like papers that were like clearly marked confidential. If you see this, please call Ferrari or <laughs> at this number. And one of the one of the uh, guys that worked at the copy shop happened to be a Ferrari fan, and he was like, "Yes, I'm calling." Them. Maybe oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get a free four or five eight or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it, it, the whole thing exploded anyway. But I'd love to find out if that guy was compensated. Who, whoever found him, probably. I hope did. he's not Come working on, at a coffee shop the, anymore. The, the Italians, they would have. They, I take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but, but yeah. Um, con like honestly, like they, they, this uh, Spygate scandal was. Uh, that, it, there's so much I don't even want to get into because it, it's crazy. It could but yeah. be its own episode. There's yeah. a whole Wikipedia page about it. <laughs> yeah. oh, look it up. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting and, and, and a lot a lot of consequences came out of that. But anyway, so here's him in 2008. Actually, after so two years um, with yeah. Renault, but pu Race. putting like you know his usual like you know getting the most out of the car and this and that. But no, we're not talking about championship winning mm -hmm. performances. His parade driver. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here. I believe that was the inspiration for it. See, he's been clean shaven. Alonso's been clean shaven through the photos up till now. 
I believe oh, now he's gonna be dusky. <laughs> I believe that man was the inspiration so, for it. So the like, facial hair. So some dirty Australian there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where it was because in Melbourne there. You saw when he started experimenting with his head, his head, and then he's like, yeah, I could grow a crazy beard yeah, I too. Can, I think I could do that. <laughs> Wolverine, crazy mustache, <laughs> no goatee. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> in, in uh, like switch over to 2009. Again, he was there with Reno. Ah, um, see, he's got some stubble now. Uh -oh. It's starting, man. You see that triangle soul patch he's got there? Oh, yeah, that's starting, Boosh. too. <laughs> he's got some stubble. This He's getting into the beards now. Over this time, though, Red Bull was mounting its challenge and, and becoming more and more proficient. Um, and and um, in 2008, actually, uh, if you go back to 2008, uh, actually, that doesn't matter, really. You don't see it there. But that's that's the, the year that... Sebastian Vettel uh, won his first race uh, oh. with not with Red Bull, but he was with the Red Bull's sister team Toro Rosso. Right, and that was until last weekend. That was the last time that in F1 the Italian or the uh, German anthem was followed by the Italian anthem. Yeah, that was, was that was that was nice to see, man. Yeah, we didn't we didn't watch the uh, the podium together. Right, whatever. He, uh, we had the emergency, I guess, but. Yeah. It was, it was cool to see, man. The whole Italian team just scream. I don't know the lyrics, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they play like the symphony version. They're just screaming the lyrics. All the all the Ferrari oh, guys down in, down in the crowd. Yeah. And, and, and and that is cool that is see. part of what Ferrari brings to sport. That right. that yeah, passion, the, the passion, the passion about being <laughs> Italian. <laughs> um, yeah, it was that was awesome, man. They're all half of them are crying, and it was cool. So 2009. So his last year in uh, in, in in Renault is Vettel's first year. In, uh, in in Red Bull. Okay. Right. Um. So yeah, that just that that happened. But one one, if if things had gone a little bit different, and he had maybe not necessarily thought, but like at least bet on the team that was going on the up and up instead of just this opportunity to kind of fill like his years here and there until he got a, a Ferrari seat. Right. Uh, he he would have been. I think there's clauses in the sporting regulations about betting though. No, I know, but I, I know. <laughs> but if, if he would have been, you know, if he would have, you know, gone for that, yeah. uh, somebody said that he would have, like, he would have so many championships by now. Because, but, but anyway, um, that, that's the last of his Renault years. Uh, he went on in 2010 to what some people called his spiritual home. <laughs> he found Fernando found his spiritual home at Ferrari, and and it was it it seemed at the it's, beginning like a great idea. Mm. I'm I'm not a big Alonso fan. Like most of this, well, except for the modern stuff, most of this is new to me. But when I think of Alonso, I think of Ferrari and right. and bought, bought the other way too. It's it's weird seeing the top, like I'm getting used to it, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think of him like. Yeah, every, yeah, everybody. Even if you Google Fernando Alonso, like his McLaren pictures don't show up. It's for all his Ferrari. Like he is known for being like the Ferrari. Even, like at, like even like at the German blood, and I've been watching F1 since Schumacher was dominating everybody, and I think of him still when I think of Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and it, it, I re I remember seeing the cover of um, the F1 racing magazine. Um, before this happened, or like you know, in in, in two thousand and nine, at the end of two thousand and nine. But it was like it was being like oh you know Ferrari and Alonso like a match made in heaven like we're Ferrari and Alonso like like it's <laughs> like watch out everyone like they're gonna come and destroy um it it, it didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> we know now this is yeah. yeah this is starting like you said it's starting to, to 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 come right now into the territory that we know uh into the, <laughs> the story as we know it so uh 2010 uh he had he had a pretty good. He had a pretty good um, year. Uh, he was fighting with, I guess, the number one, um, in and Red Bull was uh, Mark Webber. Uh, but halfway through the championship, uh, Vettel like overtook them both and <laughs> yeah. won. And I think it was in Abu just, Dhabi. Just collect for Vettel. Yeah, it like yeah, <laughs> something clicked for Vettel. He won that year, and uh, Ferrari obviously, admittedly, had some shaky strategy calls. Uh, during the during Abu Dhabi, I think, and that's what some say cost him the race and therefore the championship. Um, but Ferrari, I mean, Alonso was there um, battling for for the championship. But that is maybe as good as it got for him. Like twenty. 
2010 and 2012 maybe when he was uh, able to uh, to drive it to the uh, to the end with Ferrari. I mean, because the rest it was just we started getting into the years of Vettel dominated um, F1, yeah. Red Bull dominated F1. You know, the first year was cool, you, like you said, like seeing uh, the young German come by and, and Red Bull on a completely untested grounds. Um, yeah. But then it, it happened again in 2011, then in 2012, <laughs> well, and then 2013, 2013, four times in a row, four times the same guy. Um, it, only Alonso really could, like Alonso was his main rival throughout, the, throughout those years. Um, so, but yeah. I'm going to try, I'm going to try my hand at being producer one again. More time. <laughs> oh, that's not the mouse. Let me do it. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the next. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Check, check out 2011, because like. Oh, I'm, I'm doing like the wrong screen. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's all double. Like, it's all double. All right. Yes. Yeah. There we go. 2011. Here we go. Yeah. So, so 2011. And you, and you, yeah, you just, just scroll. I know why it's not my chair. <laughs> <laughs> the 2011, you, you start seeing him getting into, uh, um, ex, you patch. know, experimenting with some more facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's getting pretty long in the, t in the top two. Look at him in 2012, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He didn't cut it for a whole year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so years of experimentation with his facial hair and, and, and hair altogether, but still that amounted to no championships. Yeah. So, and, and yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, Schumacher is like, what, six time champion? Seven. Seven time champion? Mm hmm. And somehow I still think of this guy. Oops. No. But but it, it is. I mean, if it. Oh, sorry. You're, oh yes. Um, if it if it had been different, and if instead of going to chase the Ferrari dream, um, Fernando also had instead gone to Red Bull, he could be sitting on some. Some even say five more World Championships now than he has, or or you know, or even four, even at least Vettel's four. Who knows? We won't ever know because he didn't do that. He went to Ferrari chasing a dream when the team Ferrari, it had, it, it, it was a team that maybe had potential, but we demonstrated, like, it, they demonstrated to to not be the team that, that it was. I mean, uh, he, he brought Vettel into Brazil to the last race of the 2012. 2012. Yeah, yeah. he brought him right down, right down in the rain. It was, that was exciting, man. Yeah, but was, Ferrari was, was not so the same. It, it, he was be, so close. If you were think if he was thinking that he was going to go to a Ferrari, so like the Ferrari close. of the days of, um, of, of Schumacher dominating yeah. F1, it wasn't that. Uh, even though on on, no. on the surface it might have looked like it, but no, it didn't have it didn't have Ross Braun. It was it was Ferrari that that had kind of been there, done that, and since then they, they hadn't had like the same amount of talent. Now he he was brought into Ferrari basically with the same conditions. Uh, like well, well basically they they, they kind of told him like, hey man, like come to Ferrari, bring whoever you want, like. Like we're we're willing to like you know he could have made a point to to the Ferrari guys that hey like you got if you're gonna want to bring me you gotta bring Nui if you want to bring me you got you gotta bring like this and that but I guess not knowing better any better and just trusting Ferrari I think he only brought Pat Fry uh, from McLaren um, and Pat Fry ended up being it ended up working out to not be that great of an of an investment <laughs> for the team like he just got fired <laughs> right. Um, so it's it's the Ferrari experiment, much like his experiments with his uh, soul punch there did not work for him. <laughs> <laughs> so we now go he looks to pretty happy with it, but you know to the last picture, uh, <laughs> and it's and it's oh, now shit. it's a whole new man. It's 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 Alonso's it's most recent. World. <laughs> and and and, yeah. and this is what some people are already calling. Another bad call by Fernando. Oh, really? <laughs> because yeah. no, he even with McLaren is, is, is at the back, and he yeah. if if he had just kept his, his head down instead of talking shit about Ferrari when he started to talk shit about Ferrari and disrupted yeah, yeah. business, if he had stayed in Ferrari and kept his head down and just worked, maybe he'd be up there with Vettel <laughs> fighting for the wins. He learned though, man. Like, you, I guess you you didn't know last year and the year before. He's like, so oh, this Ferrari, it's. It's no good. It's like I'm not getting the downforce. I'm not getting the speed. We need to make some improvements. We need to <laughs> check with the settings. Blah blah. And then this year he's, he's like, he's like, I'm expecting every race we're gonna get better. He 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 said something here. I don't know. 
what kind of drugs he's taking or whatever. He, this 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 speech right here, where you're you're seeing, he said something like, he's like, we're gonna make improvements. You'll see first. First we'll finish a race, and then then we'll get some points. Then we'll get a podium. Then we'll get a win. And he's like, "This story will truly be a psychic experience." <laughs> and and Sky Sky like cropped the screen onto his face when he said, "It's like I think he meant psychedelic experience." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. English is his fourth language, right? Yeah. But uh, he learned his lesson about shit talking. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, he's so- like, he's, I guess he spent the winter eating mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess after after his accident or something. Here and he there, reevaluated <laughs> what he was doing. I don't know. Here and there, here and there, because I'm not fully convinced that that's uh, what happened. Because recently, I mean, uh, uh, Toby Gruner on Twitter, I, I, don't, I didn't send you that link, but Toby Gruner on Twitter uh, recently posted a comment that uh, uh, says that basically, oh, let me see, let me pull it up. According to engineers, Alonso's crash story is not plausible. Torque and hydraulic sensors would have picked up a blocked or heavy steering. So you know how the, for our uh, I also has been saying in, in recent uh, press conferences that no it was the car that there was something wrong with the car it wasn't turning uh, and McLaren have been saying like no something must have happened to Alonso now now McLaren is saying back and flip flopping back and saying no actually if it had, if it had been something wrong with the steering we would have we we would have known about it with the sensors and whatever that so makes, now, that makes sense they would have. They have a G four sensor in his ear. They're measuring his body. They're measuring the G forces on all corners of the suspension. They're everywhere. Of course, they would have how many, how heavy the steering wheel is. Well, all I'm saying is that now McLaren, in between McLaren and, and Alonso, they're put, they're starting to play the blame game back and forth, and that's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it, it's starting already. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's starting with the best foot by, uh, by doing this kind of shit so early. In in, in 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 now his his most recent venture, but the thing is that he is you do get a sense, um, and, and as an Alonso f- uh, fan, it, uh, it's it's a bit of a of a of a bitter feeling that Alonso may end his career soon, and he may end his career in F one. But yeah, because he's getting old. He's after Kimi retires. If Kimi retires this year, he's gonna be like I think he's gonna be the oldest driver because uh, if Kimi and Jensen retire this year, he's gonna be the oldest driver in F one. Yeah, the the age of the drivers has yeah. since, since since going back I to the to least. the early early days of F one. From then, yeah. it's there's got to be a block of ages that's just shifted and shifted. Yeah. Oh, it's, for they sure. There used to be you know it was like 30, 40, oh. like like men like, uh, dri- like Damon like, like, Damon older, Hill older guys who are like. Damon Hale, a man. championship winner, he didn't get into F1 until he was 30. Yeah, so I, <laughs> they're all like established men that were doing it back yeah. then. It was like a yeah. prestigious thing, and I guess you had to have your own money, I would assume, in the in the very beginnings of, of Grand Prix. Oh, at the very, very beginnings, Bef- yeah. Before was, all the commercialization. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. guys who just, whatever. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, like so so he's he's, he's running out of time um, to yeah. get any more championships, mm-hmm. and it yeah. would it would be sad at least in uh, from my point of view as a Fernando Alonso fan that maybe he's not gonna go down in history like as judged by pure numbers mm-hmm. um, as 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 one of the greatest, which I think he he absolutely is. Um, and now the the people that know I, it know about this stuff, and the people that 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 that. Uh, you know, like the, the the fans of F one that have been watching F one for a while, they all agree. Like, you, if if you if you know if you know somebody that knows a lot about F one and 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 knows a lot about the history, um, they will tell you that Fernando Alonso will at least in, in those circles go down in history as one of the greatest. Mm-hmm. But yeah, his championships, he, he is running a risk that his championships won't show it. Now there is a guy that um, I think yeah, Sir Sterling Moss um, is known as the the best racing driver that never won a championship like he's he's still like i guess a lot of people refer to him as that fernando also may go down in history as the best formula one driver that only won two championships yeah, right <laughs> because it, it, above him already like in his in his same category like now now he's in the same um boat as lewis but throughout the history of f1 there's been like more than a handful double winners right all right formula one.com had a a big article well pretty big article about lewis the other day i don't know if you said about uh comparing him at his stage in his career malaysia was his 150th grand prix start okay 
compared i don't know the numbers you, you have to look it up formula one.com it was a story from a day or two ago compared him to um everybody else for, in terms of polls um podiums like how his numbers stack up podiums wins and championships yeah. and i think as far as uh polls went the only person that's beat him in 150 races was senna mm-hmm. uh I, but i think senna and prost both beat him in podiums mm-hmm. but yeah so he's he's only got he's he started with with hamilton for um his his championships but yeah but yeah but hamilton, like, like, like I'm, I'm glad I, i'm glad i learned this story like he made a few decisions where he could have yeah probably being in a better car yeah well th- th- when he and left mclaren mclaren kept hamilton and hamilton kept winning races not championships but he kept winning races and clocking poles while he was well fernando was in the, the, the less capable Renault. so yeah i mean it's, it, we will see how this pans out the, it, the 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 mclarens are looking like maybe they will like start to by the end of the year uh, maybe even challenging for wins. The way that they've been going, the mm-hmm. way that they've been upping the power, they'll for sure take the penalties. I think, Danny. Like, uh, you know, they have no choice. They only have two engines to play around. The way that things stand right now. Right. Uh, so towards the end of the year, they will have to incur penalties and open up a new a new engine. Yeah. I think they're, well, there's there's again rumors. Yeah. There's some rumors about there being five engines this year. Which are, seem pretty substantial because some of the bigger teams have been like, yeah, we wouldn't mind f- five engines. This <laughs> yeah. Year. But yeah, if, uh, otherwise, it, it'll be, to, to me, whatever. The, the rules are the rules now. Yeah. Whatever, make them more efficient. It would be interesting if they if they're just stay with four and just well, everybody gets penalties and it, all the grids will just get mixed up that way, right? I think Honda is prepared to take those penalties and towards the end of the year. But yeah, I think that, not, I don't think they're expecting much this year, right? I, I think that even then we're still going to see towards the end of the year if if they keep doing things the way that they've been doing it. And I know two races is way, way too early to judge it. But um, I think that they're going to be way up there. Um, if not necessarily challenging for wins they're definitely going to be up there with um with um williams i'd say yeah so like he left like he left mclaren uh hamilton won his first championship with them yeah and now the next year after he left mclaren yeah, 2008 <laughs> yeah. his, his second year <laughs> yeah and then and then alonso's back at mclaren they're not doing so well and like you're saying there's a pretty good chance he's uh, he's the one of the older guys that he's going to retire yeah so one could argue that at this point he's kind of Kevin Magnussen's test driver. You know, the the car's not finished yet. Yeah. Obviously. The Honda came well, in well, late. I, I Honda say, came I'd in say late expecting button a fight in. is more more of that. Button is keeping the they're, seat warm for, for Magnussen. They're both good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Magnussen will take his seat and then it like it doesn't matter. I think who oh, who's gonna replace Alonso then? They're both gone. If if Alonso not this year, then the year after, Button's gonna be gone after. No, this year, I, th- I, think. I think Alonso still has um, a solid four more years. Four I more. I, I got. Well, how, we're, how ta- old, we're still talking. How old is Reckon now? He's the oldest. That doesn't 34, matter. Four. Uh, yeah, Reckon is just. Uh, it's, it's, he's, uh, he's quite. He's a bit older. Doesn't really. Well, whatever. Four more years. I, I don't, honestly don't think so. <laughs> but that he, and here's my point. Okay, so Reckon is thirty five. 35 yeah okay. uh, and and some say that he's gonna re- uh, retire next year at 36 um but no oh yeah well he but he, i don't think he'll be racing next year like this his 35th y- yeah year of age will be his last yeah he's not gonna go more than that man. but, but that's, then again that's a new but, precedent for old driver no, now no 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 because um um what's his name uh rubinho uh Ruben, rubens barrichello, barrichello he was racing till he was 41 yeah but that was but, the last era that's an old i know but I, this is the 18 year the but we're, 18 to 22 year old but, era. but i i i i <clears throat> I am trying to make the argument that this is no ordinary driver. This is Fernando Alonso we're talking about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I say I say he has a solid maybe maybe three to four more years in F one before he starts becoming obsolete, like the parts of many of his cars. You're dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. And we'll see what we what will this, see what this pans out. But there, there There's you go. No way he's doing four more years. That's my summary as to why I think that that beautiful. Fernando Alonso is one of the greats. That was great. Oh, Despite yeah. his stupid management decisions. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually been his biggest downfall. Yeah. Because if say, he I'd made a better so. decision, he could have had maybe some more wins under his belt. I'd say so, yeah. for sure. I'd like to see a similar story now from Lance Stroll. Let's go Canada. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> he's going in there, man. He's like, he's, he's, 
he's winning titles here and there, and he has the money. What is this? Yeah. Uh, what is this Targon Newfoundland or whatever you're talking about before? Oh my god! Okay, I, I tried to pull this up when you stepped out before, and then I didn't. I had no okay. idea what this leave, was. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Yeah. Okay. Did um, you say Newfoundland? Yeah, New New New, new Newfoundland. But okay, so. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, over the weekend, um, I also I like watched the island. Yeah, in, yeah, in the Canada, Maritimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So just um, making sure. No, no, no. This is a different target. But anyway, <laughs> are you are you are you showing the screen? Yeah. Uh, man. Okay, so just just leave it there, static. Um, over the, over the last weekend, um, I watched uh, because it came online on Netflix. Uh, Swearing at the movie. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 you mentioned this on Saturday. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think I watched it Friday. So Swear to the movie is okay. like uh, a movie that the, the the Trailer Park Boys guys put together, but as themselves. Yeah. So it's, it's supposed to be a fictional story about something that happened right. to them. Yeah. Non Canadians, if you got Netflix, yeah, watch watch tra- Trailer out. Park Boys. It's hilarious. Go back to the beginning. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah. Don't be discouraged by the first couple episodes that you see. You'll get it eventually. It's yeah. a, it's it's a, like, it starts to make sense. It's like yeah. any TV show. The pilot, the pilot always sucks. It's always, <laughs> it's always weird. Some different actors they change their clothing styles or whatever. Yeah, it's, but it, get keep, into it. Keep watching it. Hey, Trailer Park Boys is hilarious. You'll keep. have so many quotes with your friends. <laughs> um, but but anyway, in, in, in swearing it, uh, part of part of uh, uh, the movie is that they are attempting to make it. Uh, to this uh, sort of rally type race called the Targa East Coast, uh, <laughs> and I looked it up. And the Targa East Coast, uh, obviously, this is all set in Canada because Trail Park Boys are Canadian. Um, uh, the Targa East Coast doesn't exist, but, facts. but but what does exist, and I think that they we're making a reference to that, is the Targa Newfoundland. Now that's a, that's a that's an event that I think it's it's like honest for uh, on its fourteenth year. It's oh, whatever. It started at twenty. 12 uh, tw- or 2002 sorry um and since then it's it, it has the name targa and let me sh- let me let me tell you about this for a second um it has the name targa as a reference to one of the most fantastic the, the craziest races in the history of motorsports hmm. uh, and it's the targa florio now these are pictures here from the historic Targa Florio. And is this like a sort of like the original gumball rally type thing? Yes. Mm. Where just exactly. A bunch of rich dudes breaking but, the laws but, and ripping it across Europe? Well, no, but no, but it, it wasn't breaking the law because um, oh. these, okay, so Targa Florio, it was, um, <laughs> it, it was basically, it started by uh, this guy, Count Florio uh, of Sicily. Like he was, he was, he was a Sicilian nobility and also rich guy. Uh, and he was really into like, really into motorsports, but now the, like his, like look at this picture here with like the old style cars. Like this Targa Florio has been going on since like the 1900s, like the, at the very beginning, like way before the wars. He basically like decided like you know what you know, I I, I love nothing more than tearing down the roads of my native Sicily in my uh, car. So he convinced the local governments or like the local you know town halls or whatever. To for a, uh, a week in a year or during the I think the whole thing lasted a week yeah. um, uh, of a year to close down public roads uh, on now there were there were different arrangements um, but uh, some of the circuits were like over a thousand kilometers long <laughs> like a whole circuit <laughs> and just let cars scroll a bit see if you can see a map or something yeah there, there's different there, oh there, there's one this, this this must have been like one of the maps oh, of, wow. of like the shorter runs, but yeah. there's like there's there's there was one run that like was like straight out around the perimeter of Sicily, and Sicily is not a small island, <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it's in yeah it's 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 a it, it was yeah yeah as you can see it there like sort of oh uh, one of those. Uh, Sicily, yeah, like I think they went at one point. They went around the whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, and and it, it it became known, like like uh, people in motorsport, like uh, would would come up and say, like you know, um, like what what comes from Sicily, mafia and the Targa Florio. Mm. Like, it, like it was it was it was that well known. And this was back in the day when teams like Ferrari. And Alfa Romeo, Alfa Romeo in the beginnings of F1, they were like one of the big players. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Mercedes and whatever, they had their 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 drivers like do the Grand Prix circuit, like as in the, the F1. But 
here there when there were no races, they would send them to do things like this, to do things like Le Mans and and the Targa Florio. So, so Targa Florio, um, Ferrari had a few a couple cars here and there, like in in, in a few years, and and these were like they would take like their F1 drivers to drive there. Um and and Alfa Romeo the same thing Maserati the same thing Bugatti they would bring like their guys to, just because it became such a such a well known spectacle and yeah mm. it, it was because of that it was because they 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 closed the roads and allowed guys to go and and what, some some of the interesting stories about um, the Targa Florio is that um it, it it was a sometimes like a lap would take you over half an hour. Or, or or something like that to, to do right because I was, was, I was just gonna say this is kind of <laughs> like the uh, like the IOMTT that didn't get canceled so I think there used to be more motorcycle races like that too and the I- Isle of Man is sort of autonomous still, enough right? that they're just like yeah we're just gonna keep doing it <laughs> then yeah it's kind of like that idea where, yeah, th- where it, they go around the whole island and it takes like 20 something minutes at yeah. going two three hundred kilometers an hour well th- this they one probably did, going two three hundred this one did get canceled um due <laughs> yeah. to safety reasons they but all got canceled if you, if you see it man like you can see like look at this like this car like these cars were some of them even though like it, there was there were a lot of corners some 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 courses had like over 600 corners but look at that <laughs> through like the town like yeah, with people yeah those are where people have been living for 200 years. And- <laughs> yeah, like, the kids over there, man. Like, yeah, like, oh my God. even though most, like, uh, surprisingly, apparently, during the whole story of the Targa, um, not a lot of people died. But I think that this is just like a, like a, like a, uh, you know, in comparison to, like, we're not, we're talking about, like, not a whole, not hundreds, hundreds didn't die. But still, like, there were people that, that had, like, terrible accidents. Stay there for, like, before vinyl graphics, look at the, uh, <laughs> the numbers painted on those cars. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> by hand. <laughs> yeah, just the paintbrush. <laughs> Everything by hand. Um, it, but it, 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 it was also a very quaint race because, or uh, yeah, because in those long laps when you were in in small towns, well, everybody in, in the town would come out and cheer cheer on you, and and for a second, like you were a hero to the local children, of course. Right. And if your car broke down. Um, and, and and you had to retire from the race. Uh, drivers have all kinds of stories of like just like there would be like a local farmer around. Like if you were like just in a field of farms, a local yeah. farmer around that come over for some tea. Yeah, like or like well, it's it's Italy, so no, it would be yeah. wine and like here's like I have, I have a little bit of cheese and I have some bread. <laughs> yeah. Or if you were like in town, uh, some like like families in the in the town or like a, a prominent family will take you in and like w- would take you in for the night or like you know if it was like. What, what depending on what time it was like they'll come in they'll buy you for like lunch or dinner and like mm-hmm. you'd like sit at like the front of the table and everybody like will make a big spectacle like yo like, yeah so, hey. like, <laughs> um and the more and more i read about this targa newfoundland uh over the weekend it's like they they're trying to capture that spirit and um look at it, it look, like, look is it this is a real race it's a real race and it's so, really really cool so for those of you that don't know your canadian geography yeah. newfoundland is an island what is it called it's, it's a giant targa t-a-r-g-a newfoundland n-e-w yeah like newfoundland yeah newfoundland is a oh, giant shit. island on the east coast of canada in the maritimes that basically there it's there's not a huge population and oh no. that guy crashes enzo in there they more or less have one road that goes around the whole island one, one highway that goes all the way around with a bunch of towns and a few cities and stuff spotted around but it's basically kind of the same idea it's basically that's the track the kind of the kind of city or the kind of island that in the entire island um no matter where you go People still use like seven digit uh, telephone numbers. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. That's true. <laughs> In modern times, yeah. Yeah, like right now, like the, this year. Yeah, there's a Lotus. So th- these are all cars that compete in the t- in the Targa Newfoundland and the Targa, Targa Newfoundland. Bye. It's. It's brilliant, man. So it's it's this done. This is amazing, man. Let's yeah. go for a road trip. Oh, man. I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah so let's go see this. So they they have three classes. Um and and one one of the classes obviously is like the top top class. Uh, where like I guess the people that show up with the answers and whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. would race. <laughs> um, there's another car, uh, like GT class of cars that can be, uh, and the, the, that GT class has two sort of two subdivisions. One with cars that are basically like, are souped up road cars. I guess. Yeah, like just souped up road cars, but have no telemetry. And then there's other ones that do have telemetry or like or like timekeeping devices and shit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there's a third class. 
um, where you basically all the Newfoundlanders. No, well, you you basically just get to take a car, any car, whatever car you want, and just race. But it's it's uh, there's there's no there's no points or anything. It's just for you to go and take your car and like just let her rip us. And that guy in the middle left there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's all. Yeah. Let, let her rip. Yeah. Just, let her rip, boys. <laughs> yeah. Right here. <laughs> And yeah. and this is this goes I, I I saw a video of an onboard, but good onboards are hard to find. Um, but there's one where they go like through the town, and then like sometimes like these are like narrow roads, like through like a bunch of people like that are like sitting on like launchers just beside the track. It's like a modern day target man, just inches away from the car that's going by, and like the only thing separating like the uh, the, the 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 road like uh, and marking the road are these like like police tape basically where they like rope over like like they. They, they throw a police tape over one street where they're not supposed to go and <laughs> I know and, and they have a they're awesome. allowed to have coach. yeah I know this is how is this oh my god I didn't know like oh I know, I know. This in Canada. Ne- this needs to be way more popular, and and it Crazy, it's man. it's it happens in these little island communities that are autonomous enough to say, you know what, for this week or for these few days, we're gonna like we're gonna say like fuck it to that 20 hour 20 kilometers an hour speed limit and let these guys race around here yeah that uh that honda accord i was trying to sell yeah it's not for sale anymore we're going to the tiger newfoundland oh, <laughs> yeah. entering yeah. the a class <laughs> or c class is it no c? yeah i forgot what, what, what they're whatever called. yeah like can my uh we're rav4 enter coming. Uh, any, any car, yeah like, man let's yeah let's fucking there's, race there's one one class where you can just enter whatever car you want and you just get to participate and it's not for points it's just yeah. let your car rip through the roads yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have our own class well <laughs> I would love to fucking do that yeah, looking, looking, I'm actually afraid of my car tipping over and, though but if, if you look inside the driver's door there's a sticker there that'll tell you how much your car weighs yeah. we'll ballast them out let's, let's do this <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. No, this this looks unbelievably amazing. Like there's uh, it's it's growing obviously in popularity. Most of the teams right now are obviously from Canada, but um, a lot of like uh, a few more teams are getting uh, more uh, international now. Obviously, I'm sure a my lot uncle of- is doing it. <laughs> he's crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, he's crazy in the cars. <laughs> well, and so, some teams are coming from the states now. Oh really? Uh, it's it's gaining a lot of popularity, and and also it has it has that that old style like because you do get you do go through like some like villages like deep into newfoundland and i did see a video of a guy like sort of crashing into like this old lady's like backyard basically and, like he went in and like the old lady was just kind of watching and being like is everything okay like <laughs> how are you by <laughs> you see the difference a bit though like these wooden houses they have here like so some when we were looking at the fiorano one the whatever Italian <laughs> version. Some of those houses were built before Canada was discovered, kind oh, yeah. of thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're, all like, they're all made of stone. Yeah, but yeah, but there's serious crashes, and then like yeah. Yeah, we're creating our own history here. Yeah, no, this is this is a great. I think it needs to be more popular, and and out there, if you have a if you have the means and and the time to participate in something like this, I urge you to do this before yeah, it gets banned, cool. before 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 it gets too day or before it gets canceled because it's too dangerous. Uh, I'm glad that this is still happening. There haven't been any fatalities, so that's good. Yeah. Um. And and no, this is. It, it seems like an an awful lot of fun. I would love to go, even just to watch. I yeah. want to see Ricky race this in his house. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that means, that means you have to watch more Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> if you don't get it. So yeah, I'm I'm really pumped about this. I'm I'm gonna. It's it happened. Too messy. I didn't know this existed. This, this is year crazy. it's happening. Uh, it's it's in September. I think September. it's it's it's, uh, it's every year in September. Um and the. the the way that the course or the, the whole ev- series of events um, works out is that there are some stages. So there's there's four or five legs mm-hmm. with one prologue. So the prologue is like sort of like a, a series of like small races around New, uh, about uh, around St. John, I think. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that minivan. And then Jeez. there's like there's kind of like so there's there's stages and in between the stages. <laughs> They make it so that like there's like a drive in between that's really scenic and whatever. Anyway, like it's, okay, yeah, it's it's really cool the way that they've organized it and like it. it I think it, it requires every year seven thousand volunteers, but like they just get like young people and whatever from like the local villages to come in. Like 
Yeah, yeah. See, like they crash into people's houses and they're still fine with this. The food lenders are still okay with they're this. Like, ah, sure, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it's it's really cool, and it's uh, the whole uh, like it starts and finishes in St. John's. Like, so they go like way out there. You see, like so, yeah, like three, like four. Oh, yeah. And so, say for example, right here when they're in leg three, it's like sort of around Clarenville and Gander. Um, they they would serve breakfast here at like the local hall, which is sometimes just like. A little hut or in yeah. a fishing village or something like that. And it's, it's, it's really so quite, it's, it's How really do cool. these legs work? Oh, so I, oh, I see. Okay, so they start here it's and the, then... They would be timed and then... Yeah. Uh, and you, they, you, so you, you line up and they let you go. Like, I think a, a new car comes out every 30 seconds or something like that. So, like, yeah, they, they let them go. Space sh- them out. And then, yeah, they space them out somehow. But you can, if you if your car is good enough to, like, say, like, uh, make up that 30 second advantage you can totally overtake and whatnot right yeah, yeah it's, Crazy. It's, it sounds really cool and I'd love to go anything even just to watch let's do it yeah uh, for anybody to whom this sounds amazing you should check out the Isle of Man TT the tourist trophy it happens on the Isle of Man it's on I think it's the same or I know it's the same weekend as the Montreal Grand Prix in Canada you should check it out. Go on YouTube, watch like an onboard video. I M T T is uh, like it's retarded. It's incredible. It's on motorcycles. It's on super bikes. So guys, basically oh riding God. like race ready Hayabusa's through this island, and uh, Isla Man is big. Like they have some low lying villages, and there's some sort of highlands up there. Mm. And they go like all. It's it's a lap is something like twenty minutes. You can watch online. It's worth seeing the whole thing. Jesus. No, but they're going like hundreds of kilometers yeah. an hour, like through like again, same idea through towns, and it's ridiculous. They more or less never go below two hundred. There's a few times like they go through. I don't know, like three, four, five villages throughout the a lap. It went, like there's a couple times they have to like doom, 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 slow down, turn, and then they just straight speed, speed, speed. Jeez. They Honestly, go, they I, go through these towns up into the hills. I didn't know this until it's, Dan showed me like a couple of years ago, and and like I just he showed me a YouTube video of a lap, and I I, I didn't believe it. I thought I thought like it, it no, took me it took he's me a, no, shit it took right me out of his ass. Well, it, the lap takes what like like twenty it's minutes or whatever twenty twenty two minutes something but somewhere for in the there. first bit. I just thought that like that he was just showing me like. First, some, some sort of computer simulation, but then I was like, "No, no, this is real. What? And this is not sped up. No, it wasn't sped up, man. It's retarded. It, it looks retarded. It like, looks- and this is a, there used to be more of these, and this is the like the Isle of Man is sort of like a semi-autonomous government island. They decided to keep running it, and I think well, th- this they this, don't have the, the 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 key is that they don't have to answer to you uh, to EU law or UK or law. the UK law. Yeah, right. yeah. But this this year, I think maybe four or five people died. Oh, lot, people like, die every year. That's year, the thing. I think it was a year. I saw, I found out about it maybe about three years ago. But I think maybe two or three years ago, something like fourteen, like in the teens, I think died like spectators and bikes. Yeah, like Jesus. I watched a mini documentary about it. Following one guy, I think he ended up winning. He did end up winning. But they did have a bunch of classes. I think he competed. But mm-hmm. you have to be fit too, man. Like to ride a mm-hmm. six hundred pound bike. And make it like speed corner. For, yeah, yeah. For Twenty oh, yeah, minutes yeah. up and down hills. Like it's incredible. But I'm way more excited about this Newfoundland tiger. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy! Yeah. 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 I didn't know this existed in my own country. Yeah, man, and and it's the the only event of its kind in in the, actually. Let's pop this the tiger on the, the Western Hemisphere. Let's start designing uh, a track, pretty much, because there there's only of of this kind of races that still like sort of the, have this sort of format and the whatnot. Dakar rallies moved to South America. Well, no, not uh, well the, the the Dakar, yeah, the Dakar, yeah. But this is even way less restricted than Dakar. Whatever. Like just like this, yeah. there's three the, there's three targas left in the world, uh, targa New Zealand, targa Tasmania, and targa Newfoundland. So the other ones are like you know, in the on the other side of the world, literally. Like this is both, the, both ways. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is the only one we got, and it's in North America, and it's in it's, more importantly, it's in Canada, and it's on it's in Newfoundland. Newfoundland is a, a hilarious place. <laughs> <laughs> you got to visit, didn't you? Uh, uh, no, I have never gone to Newfoundland, oh, but I've I, I've, I've known I've met I you, many I a Newfie. Yeah, I thought you went there quick, like quickly when you went out. Oh, oh no, no, no! I've been in the in the East Coast a couple of times, and like yeah. just like it's, but it's a whole different culture too. Like Newfoundland is like yeah. they're they're whole different people, but they're great and. 
and the fact that they have this and and have gotten together to put this together because these are like I said, there's volunteers from the villages, and you don't get any prize money. It's just for, just for 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 bragging rights or whatever for mm -hmm. for the love of motorsport that that you compete in things like this or in this one in particular, and and it's fantastic that they they've allowed it, and it's going strong every year. It's it gets more and more popular. Shout out to Canadian metal fans and protest the hero. Check out the song Mist. Some mm. pow powerful Newfoundland imagery, I guess. Drinking, yeah. drinking, good old powerful drinking song. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. um, it's about going to Newfoundland, get drunk, and go to a concert. Pretty yeah, much. I, I think uh, the pro protest here. Now that you mentioned it, actually, I think. Uh, uh, Daniel Ricardo, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, he has come out and like said like you know like they've asked him one time like what kind of music do you do you listen to when you're like getting pumped for a race yeah. and uh, protest the hero like uh, oh I think, I think he listens to like protest the hero among many other things. Um, he's 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 also a big fan they, of. Uh, it's crazy. They've gotten a lot bigger, but they kickstarted their last album. <laughs> like what the hell, man? They've yeah. been on for like ten years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Wells, uh, oh, uh, Alexis on Fire, another Canadian band. Oh, he, he crazy! Like, yeah, and and there's another one. Um, whatever. Anyway, like, he he likes like a couple of like heavy metal or like heavy rock Canadian bands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Sweet. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's both, both those bands are so amazing. See him pumping himself up with his headphones before Row! a race. Row! Row! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You said something though to me uh, when we were getting prepped for this show um, about. Um, the, the Pirelli Motorsport boss. Yeah, how are we doing on time? How long is this show right now? Um, I don't have time. Where, where are we at? I, no, no, I, I, it's not that I don't have time. Oh. It's that I don't, I, I haven't we've been, registered. Right. We, we've I been have, talking uh, for a while. Let's talk about Pirelli next week. Let's go, let's talk okay. about China. Cause cool, cool, cool. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get into the China there, There's no like time limit on the per, talking about Pirelli and whatever. We, we uh, can get, Paul Henry. Can probably get deep into it. Talking True. about Paul Hembry and his ideas. Yes, that's that's a good point. I agree with him. Teaser. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> Plus, I got to go to the washroom. We'll get into that next time. Yeah. Um, have you tried uh, to do a lap around China on the game yet? No. I was going to do it uh, this week whenever I have time. I tend to, like, kind of binge play that game. Nice. <laughs> where I'm just, like, I'll play it for, like, <laughs> two hours or so. Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those kind of games. Oh, it's great, though. It's it's and Every time I play it, I fall a little bit more in love with it. Nice. I never expected to... Actually, if, maybe I did, but uh, when I was younger, yeah. I actually... One of my first games I had was in a Formula One game. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I don't know what it, what it was. It was something in the 90s, <laughs> like, on the computer, like, barely worked. Yeah, like I had to like have some sort of passcode and <laughs> shit like that. It was ridiculous. <laughs> racing games like even back then, like it, it, Formula One racing games, like it started to pop out and like so a lot of them were like hit or miss. But oh, yeah. I found that everybody had them or like you know what I mean. Like everyone just, had like a racing game. Yeah, of some and, sort. and and a lot of those racing games were like Formula One mm. games. Like even even I think like um, down to like um, uh, you know how back in like the Super Nintendo days like they used to be like you know so and so's like like for baseball there was like you know whatever Sammy Sosa's like yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. whatever <laughs> like there was like there was like an Ayrton Senna like Monaco 94 or something yeah. or 91 there was like that that was a video game and like yeah, and yeah. Nigel, Ma Nigel Mansell's Grand Prix or something like that was another video game and I find that like yeah like there, there were a few like F1 theme but maybe they didn't say explicitly that it was F1 right yeah because of very much license, that. licensing but <laughs> I saw one the other day uh, Hubert John, he had one. Johnny Herbert? John, yeah. John, sorry, Johnny yeah. Herbert. Like yeah. 98, I think 98, 99, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's on PC only, piece of shit. <laughs> you got paid. Yeah. You got paid for shit. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you got to check out China. Do we Are we talking about... Uh, Not this one. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm going to close yeah, some Close some started. of these links. All right, no. This is... Oh, we more? talked about yeah, it. Yeah, here we go. We, we want to start here? Shang. Yeah, let's do it. Shanghai. All right. Yeah, that uh, that's that's the track model right there on the left. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they got the well. That's what Tilki thought was good <laughs> to come up with the idea. So this this is Shanghai, the name of the city, is written in Chinese, I believe. Yeah, exactly. Boom. The yeah. So the Shanghai this. left left right. Shang Shang is the track. That bottom stick is the longest straight in the world. Okay, well, but okay, put them, put them, uh, like, go toggle between the tabs and, like, see, like, if you can see it. Like, can you, mm. can you, so, yeah, can you sort of see go that? Go between this one and that one? Yeah. I kind of actually do see it. Yeah. There, there's a bit of something there. 
Yeah, there's, there's a similarity. It's a, it, it's a bit of a, like a artistic interpretation, yeah. they, they needed, <laughs> but it's they, there. <laughs> they needed a lot of space in the middle of the track, so they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't make it a perfect stick, yeah. I guess. Yeah, but, yeah, it's it's pretty close. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to <laughs> them. Know. None of us can read Chinese characters. No, absolutely so, to be not. Fair, <laughs> cool track though I mean it's not it's not I mean it's got some exciting parts I think they ripped off Malaysia because they're another Asian track that's a little older and they're like fuck you we're gonna do it better cause that first corner there they, they spent half a billion in this yeah it was a 400 450 million dollars million dollars on it so I think something like billion wands uh, that co- first corner is exactly the same as the Malaysian first corner. Except it's it's just, bigger. Yeah, just about three times bigger and twice as fast. <laughs> it's the same corner, though. The, the exit's a little different, but it's almost the same. Yeah. And there's a, like a shitty version of it at the bottom there. It's not, not exactly, but it's good. I know. You want to do the onboard? You want to go, go around it? Do we, we have... Oh, yeah. I, ca- I can't show, can I? Well, no, you can't Dude, show just it turn, to us. Turn off the audio, or, yeah. All right. or if you can make us only hear it, but... We can look at it since you have. We, we'll describe describe the action. You said you said you haven't checked this out in, in no, the, not in the yet, game. Not I haven't checked it. All right, cool. Oh my god, yeah. So the, the, this <laughs> is the best that you can quite, find still on yeah. YouTube. So if, yeah, if you search uh, Jensen Button Shanghai Circuit Track Guide on board. Yeah, as you see. So lot, he's, that's that's a huge turn one. A lot like Malaysia. The downshifts are a lot more spaced apart, but. This up till here is the oh, same. Jesus, yeah. So we go a big straight. So we're right here. Oh no, uh, yeah, right here. Down here. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty nutty. You get a big, Not- big left. Apparently, you get over three G's over here on this giant, giant chicane. Over three G's left and right. That's crazy. Yeah. And then you uh, not of, not, this, a, not like, big on elevation changes though. I find. I love them. No, no, this this this, oh, this the circuit. track. Oh, I said you. Here we go to the sort of mirror of the first corner. Go tight, and open it. Open it. Oh, here we go. Full screen. Now we're going on to the huge, the biggest straight. Going to go up to about three hundred. Yeah, it's kind of a ridiculous how long it is. Button just said it, you, it's just called waiting when you go on this straight. <laughs> just keep going. You're inching ever so slowly to the left or to the right. Though. Yeah. You got to make sure corner. you make it there. The signature Toki long straight with a hairpin. Boom. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick hard that left is, onto the front. That is so Toki. That's a lap. Jeez Louise. That's a lap. Even, even the it's way... It's a long track. Yeah. <clears throat> even the way... Um, Sort of both uh, tracks. Well, I don't know. This one doesn't end on a hairpin, but the way both of them go into the pits, they have sort of like a loop around before you enter the pit. I, it looks pretty crazy from up here. Yeah, it's cool, man. But apparently, I was reading on uh, the Wikipedia page, they built it on a swamp. And uh, <laughs> that seems safe. Yeah. <laughs> si- so since as in, it's not even that old, like 2004 it was completed. In. Uh, up to uh, up till through uh, three years ago, every year they've had to ha- bring engineers in because three of the corners are sinking. So I don't know. <laughs> it's Jesus like, Christ! They put this on a swampland. Yeah, they spent four hundred. They said on the also Wikipedia page at the top they had a team of three thousand engineers going twenty four seven for eighteen months to design this track. Oh my god! Yeah, a bit crazy. Can we have wild speculation? Whatever yes. this fucking yeah, what is that? that? Thing? Jesus. Is it looks a little like the, the shocker, guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. I don't think. Wait, no, this is not the shocker. It's part of the track. Jesus Christ, do I, I don't know anything. No, What's no, the shocker well, is that one. Yeah. Like that. No, this is not what, to get too weird. Devil <laughs> This one. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, so I think it's like uh, clearly <laughs> an extraterrestrial like communicator sort oh, of. Oh, you mean you mean that 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 circle thing up there? The circle above the track. Yeah, no, no. Fuck the circuit. I mean, we know what it's about. This. <laughs> this fucking thing Some sort of landing pad Is that where the Chinese Are getting all their Yeah like, well they use like Light and sound To bounce off the moon And shit That's where the That's aliens amazing. Come in yeah. Oh yeah Cool 
Well, I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad That's the Chinese like, have that on lockdown. They come. They come and bring the the the, 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 the aliens to race. Yeah. That sounds like the perfect solution. <laughs> you guys down? <laughs> and they they're just like yes. <laughs> like three gra- grass grass tri- triangles? Are they grass? See those triangles on the or circle. Are they on the circle. Triangles. On the circle there that you're just pointing at the top. Yeah. This guy, this, yeah what ones? are those triangles? I. Are they gra- are they like lawns? Uh power cells for the <laughs> <laughs> for the satellite? I don't know, man. Uh, what I gotta say though, like it it does look really cool from the air. Yes, it does. Like uh, it's it has a, a lot of flow and uh, flow to it. This track on paper, I'm sure it looked like oh, this is gonna be a great one. I'm, I'm sure yeah. Herm- yeah. Herman Tilke when he saw it he was like, all right, guys, we nailed it. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not super awesome though. Yeah, it's, it's not. It, it didn't turn out. Even, even the layout of like where they have the sand traps, the grass traps, the way they're shaped, it looks very artistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I was trying to get at. Yeah. I'm not sure how good it as like driving is though. Well, the Chinese, the Chinese did a did a very good thing. I mean, or at least they poured enough money into this to, to make it like look nice and be nice. Yeah. Um. But now it turns out that even MotoGP is getting more attention there than F1. You looked this too, up, Danny. Too much attention as of uh, oh 2011. I think they they just canceled the MotoGP race there for overcrowding. Is a rare problem. They had over 250,000 attendants. They also hold. Uh, a leg of the Australian V8 Supercars Challenge to over 250,000 to every race, quarter million people. Jesus. But yeah, Formula One is down. Um, I don't know. They're, they're but what's all this shit that they were saying that that that, that, that they were expecting? You know, uh, more attendance and the, the Chinese uh, Grand Prix was looking like healthy and alive and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. They're, apparently, part of what I read too was um, there's a, a subway line that runs to the track and the government was thinking of shutting it down. And then I guess there is a risk of them losing the race in 2011. So they decided from then to keep it open. They halved the price of the premium tickets. Oh, yeah. We did, we, before the thing, before the podcast here, we did a con- currency conversion on the tickets. They're expensive, man. They yeah, were wanting, what was it like for the, the best tickets over 800 US dollars or, or was it Canadian dollars? Whatever. Canadian dollars. 800 well, bucks. Very close anyway. Yeah, it's extremely expensive. So they have to have the price of all the podium seats for the main areas. Hopefully they can turn it around. They had something like 250000 at the inaugural I don't, race. I don't think in terms of uh, general admission you get much either. Like in terms of what you can see, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think there's much GA in here. Yeah, in this track, no. It's mostly sand traps. It doesn't look, there's not many places to stand. Yeah. So it's all, yeah, it's, you mean grandstands? No, to stand for for general admission. Oh yeah, for yeah. General admission, yeah. Like, you can't see any. Go back to the aerial photo. There's not. I don't know. I don't think they have it. The same. It's. I don't know. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's not like going to Canada where there's tons Canada, of GA. Yeah, the Canada is like about that. It's what's about, all this? Like, every, fucking... Everybody comes. Oh, with... that's a little car truck. That yeah, what's tell all, you all about? Holy it. shit! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It looks awesome. Well, but though. no, but with every every track you've the, you've the, said the, it before. The, Pretty much every track has like an, a a a like a a, a car, car track. track. Yeah, most of them have uh, motocross track too. But I was saying, I was saying before, it's interesting. Like that track, like look, look at it, and imagine driving a go kart in there. It looks huge, man. Yeah. Doesn't it look huge? Yeah, it does. And compared to the scale of the F1 track, huh? Oh, it's pretty incredible. Shit. So I was, I was imagining driving that in a go kart. It might take you a minute, a minute and a half in the go kart track. Yeah. yeah. And then you think the F1 car. Can go around that thing, that thing in a minute and a half. Yeah, and at the same time, you'll go. It's 5,451 meters, the F1 track. Uh, three, I gotta look, I gotta look kilometers. down here. It's one of the big ones. 3.387 miles for you Brits and Americans. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so five point five and a half kilometers. I don't know how long the go kart track is. I want to drive around it, though. But. Uh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't seem like much general admission. But for two hundred fifty thousand, do they have two hundred fifty thousand in attendance? I know, like, okay, see, no. see right here. See, there's a bunch of grandstands there at the right hair, here. that hairpin, yeah, and they, decided, they're always just most likely covered. They are most, they're yeah, these, most likely going to be except covered. for the first year they filled this place. But these ones, they're covered up with uh, like Chinese last year in the year, yeah, they got flags and uh, giant Chinese like basically advertising. advertising. They, they put them with vinyl covers over the seats and. 
Because nobody said it. They clearly just couldn't sell it. Completely empty seats. Whereas now MotoGP had to be told not to come because they were too crowded. Yeah, in in uh, yeah, that was 2008. I was right. Moto G- MotoGP is like the, it's like the, the F1 of motorcycles. It, yeah. yeah, F1 of motorcycles. Yeah, go up, I figured as much. Somewhere around the same speed, mm-hmm. the same amount of danger, most of the same tracks. I have <laughs> seen though um, uh, an F1 car versus a MotoGP car versus like a, a touring car. Mm-hmm. T- touring cars are basically like. Uh, European, actually, the rest of the world's answer to NASCAR, like they're they're stock cars, but they they actually have like working lights and stuff like that, and they're like they're they're basically like cars, production cars that get zooped up and get like race around. Anyway, okay. Um. So, but uh, even then, the challenge for the other two for the for the motorcycle and the car were to not get lapped by the F1 car or something oh, like that. Geez. Like even then, like even <laughs> even then, like. It, the motorcycles though, like the 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 MotoGP motorcycles, do have like a higher acceleration up until I think 100 or or 150 kilometers an hour. They will go faster for that stretch because the F1 car is obviously bigger. Yeah. But after that, F1 is over. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Same type of bikes, almost. I guess they would be racing in the IOM TT. Yeah, like right. Super bikes, super bikes. Yeah. This is I don't I don't know if this has anything to do with the decline of the F1 attendance, but I got to read this. This part directly from the Wikipedia page. In September 2007, former manager of the circuit, Yu Jifai, was convicted of embezzlement as part of a corruption scandal in Shanghai, which resulted in the dismissal of several senior Chinese Communist Party officials. So he was the manager of the circuit, which obviously is a very expensive piece of property for the Chinese government, a $450 million racetrack. So he got fired. But I don't know the uh, the I don't know the current. Go- I've looked it, into it. The the current government in Shanghai, like the mayor's office and whatever provincial officials, are convinced that the race is going to come back. They have their contract till twenty eighteen. I guess we'll yeah. see it next year or the year after if they get it renewed or not. But in the pre-show last year, I do remember them saying that uh, that the race at least is getting a lot of promotion in town and and Chinese television and whatnot like they are like they're catching on and like there's it's, it's just it's more talked about than before mm-hmm. uh vettel has this uh um they're, they're big fans of vettel apparently like some chinese and um they he says like they're there to 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 greet me at the hotel like just outside of the hotel when i'm stepping out to grab like the car to go somewhere and he's like and even if like they're taking me out to uh, to to a restaurant where nobody knows where i'm going or like you know whatever like the fans are gonna be there waiting for me, like <laughs> to go to. Right? So I mean, it's 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 getting some some attention. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's not like the Chinese are not into racing. They had to cancel the motor, the biggest motorcycle race because there's too many people showed up, <laughs> and they get a quarter million people to an Australian racing series, the V8 Supercars ch- series, and there's a whole bunch of other races that happen there too. You can like we talked about before, club and. National circuits, you can see there's all kinds of configurations. So clearly, they, 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 can, they, can, they can cut it like down here, yeah. or they can cut it down there, or they can cut it down there. Oh, oh sorry. They can cut it down there. Oh, there yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. A whole bunch. And uh, this year, Chinese got something to look forward to. Again, I got to look at the screen here. Adderley Fong. Didn't uh, he get signed by Lotus or something? I think he, he paid the... I don't know how many like test drivers and stuff Lotus has. I think he paid them to drive a practice session. Is what happened. Oh, he's gonna be so. So I don't think is gonna make it to practice. Yeah, but there were. I don't know. There's some comments here about him not being the best racer, and other guys in his club were beating his times and stuff. The article, kind of like the sub headline is um, Hong Kong driver is hitting the gym before the Chinese Grand Prix, and has already lost 11 kilos. So. You can tell what the I don't know. The article is not really about his racing career. <laughs> this guy just needs to lose some weight. <laughs> you squeeze into that cockpit. So I guess you see it says he's been training since Christmas or whatever. So I guess he's known for a while. So hopefully this will draw some Chinese fans. They'll see uh, one of their well, I don't know countrymen. I guess um, China doesn't have the best relationship with Hong Kong all the time, but. <laughs> <laughs> but when they do, yeah, I mean, they do. Yeah, it's, if it's gonna make a difference, <laughs> well, Ko- I don't know. And yeah, with Kobayashi too, I guess they're the Japanese. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
well, good, good on them. I think I think it I think it does need it. I think uh, it, China would be one of those countries that um, if if they're if F one is going to become a sensation, um, they are going to expect to see at least one day uh, a Chinese driver there, the same way that they have um, they have Yao in basketball. I might be mistaken, but didn't K- Katerim had a Chinese guy practice? Yeah, Makwing Ma Kuing- Ma Ha. I think was oh, his I name. I remember that name. Yeah, he's, just, <laughs> he's, like, he's like the same kind of thing. Like, I'm not gonna know who this guy is. Not <laughs> Came out for a practice or two. I'm it's something like that or Quing something. Ma Quing Ha, I think was his name. Anyway, he, yeah, he did, but like he he wasn't doing that great. I think he there there is a driver or there was a driver in the old uh, FIA, uh, FIA GT series now defunct or so gt world is now defunct and now anyway well, they have been uh at least in, in gt and the fia in the highest sanctioned fia gt series uh there is a a, a chinese team oh, okay. um so cool. i i think i think it, it's it's evolving starting yeah but china needs a a, a a local here the same way that alonso was to spain uh, they they need somebody to rally mm-hmm. behind and, and i think they could turn that tide because people people in china are now um, you know, like the most Porsches in the world, oh, you know, not, not not last year because of the whole Russia thing, but the most Porsches in the world sold in China uh, un- until last mm-hmm. year. I think I think they sold in Russia because a lot of Russian uh, rich people were buying Porsches <laughs> because the ruble was losing value so quickly. But anyway, slightly but- off topic, I believe that um, Vladimir Putin is having Porsche design him a presidential vehicle like. Like a super, nice. like a supercar armored Porsche vehicle that he's gonna drive. I'm, I'm not certain, but I think he's also having them design an engine specifically for this car. President Vladimir <laughs> Christ. <laughs> the engine, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure. But he's, they're making him an armored Porsche supercar That's pretty to funny. roll around in an envoy and uh, probably a couple of them. He's gonna have a role. Yeah. <laughs> well, those people that want to kill him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple of years ago, they came out with the Cayenne Porsche. Got into SUVs. Now they're busting out armored limos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not? Right. <laughs> they gotta diversify. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we'll see them in F one one day. Why not race cars, guys? Why not? race cars yeah why not race? <laughs> why not SUV race limos uh, one thing that we did that, that, that we also did uh, we were talking about things that we did off uh, uh, before the show and one thing is that uh, remember how she's for the second race in a row um, or for the second race show in a row uh, I forgot to bring something related to the country that we were at and for but, the second race show in a row we forgot to mention <laughs> well that we actually actually we had we didn't mention yeah well no, we, we did so, so, so we, we well we ate before before we started the podcast today. Uh, we had for lunch. Amazing. I brought for you guys. Um, it's called nasi lemak, and it was it's because we we didn't do anything for for Malaysia. But this is uh, I think the nasi lemak what we ate. So what was it? Can you describe what it was? Yeah, it was some um, was it bar- we had barbecue shrimp. Uh, yeah, it's uh, rice, uh, co- co- coconut, coconut rice, rice. Co- co- coconut rice, um, anchovies, anchovies, and some, some sort of. of- Anchovy fried mix with yeah. I don't know there were maybe some onions. It was very good. Pepper in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And so it was better than I was expecting for anchovies. Yeah, yeah. And then what was it? The other was like um, uh, uh, almost like a chow mein, but it had some pineapples in it. Right, yeah, like, and a deep fried egg. Some, yeah, it's a, it, or sorry, not a deep fried a, uh, a hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg. And uh, I think that was it. The, the egg was pretty good. It's some curry sauce yeah. on it. Yeah, and, you thank know, you, Malaysia, for your cuisine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a well, nice fusion of Asian y- and eggs. And you know what? It took me a little while to find like some I mean, anchovies. I, I knew that I was gonna in, in end up finding something in Toronto. You know, most multicultural uh, yeah. city in the world or whatever. I knew there had to be something from something Malaysia from here. Everywhere here. Oh. But it, it took a while. Malaysia is specifically tricky because a lot of their cuisine and a lot of their culture even is is a blend of like uh, in Indian and and and. and uh, um, it's a Muslim country, so they have like right. a lot of like uh, Islamic traditions, and and also like uh, they get a lot of influence from Singapore and just the other like uh, Th- Thailand and whatever. So right. it's a big mix and Chinese and whatnot. Um, but this the nasi lemak what we just ate is something properly properly uh, Malaysian, kind of like poutine is for Canada. Right, and it's oh, like cool. It's like they, they 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 will serve you that on like um, stands on the street and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. it's like it's kind of like a like a top Malaysian comfort food, and, and that's what we had. And I, I thought that was pretty that was, good. That no, was good. it was great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. That was amazing, man. Barbecued shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Not barbecue shrimp. I'm I'm very much barbecue shrimp yeah. every day. <laughs> every day I'll have them. Yeah, I'll definitely have nasi lemak so good. again. 
Is there a, is there a hint or clue to what's up for next week? I think we I think we're gonna do alcohol because Chinese food. Everybody's done Chinese yeah, food. Yeah, everybody's had. Yeah, so I'm, 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 like, you know what? Like Fuck said, it. I'm gonna order Chinese food. <laughs> You bring the sing towel, and we're gonna have ourselves a day. Nice. All right. I had Chinese food three days in a row. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, it was so like, I'll it was order like, Chinese food. Yeah, like, yeah. I always, I always have more Chinese food. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll fucking <laughs> sweet and sour balls. I'll do it all day. Yeah. Not, all not, day. Not eating any of that red sauce though. <laughs> Every yeah, time. What do they put there? What do they put okay, see, sauce? see this. This is a little leftover takeover takeout container. There are about two or three times this. <laughs> Way more than you ever could possibly need. Oh, of, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. It's red sugar. Okay. there's a, yeah, It's red sugar. <laughs> red sugar water. Get this screwdriver over here. This is what it looks like solidified if it were solidified. <laughs> this handle of this screwdriver. <sighs> it tastes like shit. I love it. Some you, people might like, it's I, like for, I love it. <laughs> okay. Like a meal for two, you get one of those. If you go meal for three or meal for four, you're getting two of those containers. <laughs> Like, what, the? <laughs> what is that stuff? Yeah. yeah. No. When I went to China, I had some proper red sauce. Oh yeah, was it, oh, was yeah. it good? They eat that it was, I thought that oh, was no, just no, like uh, a North was, American. Maybe it's because they knew I was white. When you get like fast food Chinese, I thought it was a no. It was like a restaurant. Restaurant. Okay. It was like a nice place, and it was like very. More so like ceremonial, but more just like high class sort of okay. uh, Chinese food. But it was good. Same a little red, more same seasoned. Red sauce? Yeah, oh, a little. Good. I'd say a little more seasoned, but. More or less the same thing. Nice. What is that? Like, what is it originally? Yeah, yeah. How do they come up with it? Like, in, 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 in the days where, like, they were cooking, uh, you know, out of, like, wood and whatnot, like, in the... Now it's just in, 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 sugar In the, in the, in the Ming Dynasty. I'm sure that, that wasn't there in the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> you, you don't know. You <laughs> don't know. Well, say, if you're Chinese flowers. and you know, please comment. I, I really want to know. We're, yeah. I'm serious about this. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly thought it was just, like, an, like you know, there's... there's as In any country, there's... There's the real cuisine, and then there's yeah. the fast food. Right. Yeah. So you get that red sauce with the fast food Chinese, right? Oh, so, no. It's it's not good. But, yeah, but, 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 but I'm just I mean, asking, like, some is, people like is it. that a traditional thing, though? My girlfriend like, oh, is yeah. totally into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no. I, don't, I don't like it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just red sauce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do some Chinese beers. All right. Yeah. We'll do some drinks. I'll, I'll, yeah, see if, I'll see if I can find something, like, even more interesting than, than Chinese beer. All but, right. but, I mean, we're... The LC should have something. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, that <laughs> one, I'll figure it out. Yeah, the LC down by you is pretty stocked. Yeah, <laughs> international wise. So Thursday practice is in. What time is it now? Like a day and a half, barely, not even. Yeah, ready to go. Practice one. Do you convert that to our local times? I went back. I don't know, no, yeah, that that is right. Yeah, yeah, 10 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 p.m. Eastern. That's P1, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, nice. Thursday. Two, 2 a.m. Uh, 2 a.m. Practice two, and then. Saturday we're talking about from uh, midnight Mid- to midnight. one. Midnight to four if you're gonna catch quali. Quali is three to four. Yes. Big gap Jesus and Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah, it's, it's a twelve hour shit. difference for us Eastern time Eastern timers. Being a North American F one fan is, is not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not always it's difficult. <laughs> it's not always glorious, but no. it's honorable. Oh yes, it is an honorable <laughs> pursuit. <laughs> Two AM race Sunday. Yes. I can't wait. Predictions? Ah, I'd like to see. And there's not a prediction as much here because we're in a no, fantasy no. competition. No, 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 no. I, okay. I, I'm just right. again. I keep saying this, and 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 this is more than a prediction. Is my wish is I would like to see um, Valtteri Bottas up there, like up, 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 up there. Like yeah. hopefully Williams get their shit together. They bring some updates. Some get, please Williams, just give this kid some, whatever he needs. Let's get him winning some races this year. I know it's gonna be tough with now Mercedes and, and 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 Ferrari challenging them, but let's get Valtteri Bottas a win or two. He looked like he was struggling at the end of that race. You see in the post race interview, he's from like way north and <laughs> he comes from the snow. He's just like pale, like sweating and sweating and sweating, like. He was like, well, so, but that, like that's the only thing everybody, was, everybody is sweating. That's but. the only thing that people are saying. Like, is that they're expecting China to be significantly cooler than Malaysia? Yeah. Significantly, because the Malaysia race was what? Wasn't it the hottest race? Yeah, F one for a while. Maybe, yeah, it's the hottest track temperature ever. The yeah. air was like thirty four degrees with humidity. Fuck and, that. And, and the sun on top of you. <laughs> yeah, in four layers of. Fireproof clothing Four and leather, layers, man. It's leather and whatever they're wearing. And if you're Rosberg, you have a, a lady, a lady sanitary <laughs> yeah, t- uh, napkin. No, he does this, man. He put like maxi a, pad he, on his he puts like a maxi pad on his forehead because he sweats so much. Uh, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this, no so, judgment on from my head. 
<laughs> somebody, somebody asked him, what do, you, what do you guys do about sweating your eyes? And he's like, oh. He's like, Sh- should I say it? Should I say it? Okay, I'm going to say it. <laughs> he, he didn't have the English word on his tongue. He's like, yeah. what do the women call the thing they use? <laughs> it's yeah. absorbent pad, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was a sanitary napkin. Uh, I'm thinking... Vettel doesn't do as high as he did his last race. Okay. I feel like uh, Nico Rosberg and uh, Lewis Hamilton are still going to stay high. Probably either one of those guys at the top. Yeah. Uh, I want to say just because of how we covered Alonso today, uh, he he gets a bit of a redemption. Oh, yeah? Nice. Uh, I, hope, I love that. I hope McLaren gets to finish a race. Yeah. yeah no, I'd like that too. Uh, Not for and, Alonso at Button, but for uh, McLaren and Honda. Raikkonen. Get something done. Nice. I think. I think. Ahead of Vettel, even. Oh, no. oh. You know what? I'm gonna say no. yes. Nice. I'm gonna say yes. No. Yeah, Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Something. Something's gonna happen <laughs> to Vettel's right, car. So... <laughs> <laughs> something's gonna happen to Vettel's car. That's. I'm gonna predict that. Uh, oh, like. you're predicting a reverse uh, tra- tragedy for Ferrari. Oh, yeah. Shit. I want to see them both, both fight it out to the end. Fuck them. Fair. <laughs> On the same strategy. None of this two-stop, two-stop. Same strategy. No exploding tires. Reckoning back left or tire. All the exploding gonna, tires. You're going to see Reckoning praying in every way to his back left tire before the start of the race. <laughs> yeah, it's just like fucking... The way the Norse spray is by carving runes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna carve a rune on the There's car. There's like an <laughs> Odin yeah, or right. a fucking... No, he actually has a... a the, the, uh, his, his, his helmet design has changed colors many times, but the one element that's constant is uh, uh, the rune for safety. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's yeah. some heavy stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say Hamilton takes it. Yeah. I'm going to say probably Rosberg's. He's pretty pissed. He He's still talking about being disappointed in his uh, performance last oh, weekend. Man. I got to turn it up. Like, shut up, man. Shut, shut, shut up. up. I can do it. You're a second player, all right? <laughs> Deal with it. Second. You are Luigi, all right? <laughs> you just, just snapped the fucking He's such a Luigi, <laughs> that asshole. Yeah, he's the second driver in the number one team, <laughs> and he placed in third place last week, so yeah. last race. Yeah. I think he'll probably get second or third. Betel, I think he'll be up there again, like, number three or four. We'll see what Ferrari does in the cool. Though. No, they'll fuck up. I don't know. And then I think Kimmy is probably going to be fourth or fifth, I guess. And I think Bottas, too, should be up there. All right. Uh, and uh, okay, so everybody, uh, we're, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Elo if you want to, if you're into that stuff. Uh, where, where else? Yeah, we, we're on Reddit, Flat Out Fever, all yeah, of those, for, for all those Email Flat Out Fevers. Hit the contact page on flatoutfever.com. Yeah, flatoutfever.com. Go to reach us and you'll see all of our links there. Uh, sh- and listen to bamboo.com. Yeah, if you're into this, uh. you should be. Check it out.